This man has been trapped for 13 years. This character has been trapped for 13 years. And basically the dark ether, let's just be real. That's basically where he is. I can't even believe I just, I just can't even believe that this is, like, a real game. Like, they finally did it. Like, Alan Wake 2 is here. I... Oh, my God, this mu music is so good. Oh, wait, all this music is from the first game that I've been playing. Um, hello, everyone. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. I really appreciate you guys being here tonight. It's probably going to be a really, really chill vibe. Um, spooky, but chill vibe tonight. Um, I... If you don't know, just throwing it out there, there's, I know there's a lot of people wanting Persona, and there's a lot of people wanting like Spider-Man and stuff like that. Um, I, I've said it for a while now that I'm going to play Alan Wake 2 when it comes out. At least start it. Um, just because Remedy games have been so important to me for the past, uh, I wanna say like five to six years. Um, I didn't play Alan Wake 1 when it came out, um, I actually got into Remedy games back when Quantum Break came out. Um, I played a lot of Quantum Break. It's one of my favorite games. I love it so much. It's very underrated, um, especially in their portfolio as well. Like a lot of people don't even think Quantum Break's their best game. Um, a lot of people think it's probably Control, uh, but I really like Quantum Break a lot. Got me into the entire, you know, existence of what the Remedy, you know, sort of vibe is. And then I uh, played Control a couple of years later. Or I think I... I either played Control or Alan Wake. Man, I can't remember which one I played first. I think I played Alan Wake first in prep for Control. Maybe? I don't know. We were looking at it on Twitch the other day. Um, but if you look at like the old, old VODs from when I played Alan Wake, I was still in Auburn, bro. Like I was literally like in Auburn, Alabama. The camera was like over here, like as a side shot of me. Uh, I had bleached blonde hair. And we were playing it uh, for the first time, I guess, in preparation for Control. You guys are saying that. That's right. So, yeah, I knew Control was coming out. I was a fan of Quantum Break. I was like, oh, yeah, Control looks really, really cool. I want to play Alan Wake, though, because I've always heard good things. And then I played it that year, then played Control. And it was, to be honest with you, probably the most different sort of playthrough that I ever did at the time. Um, I think back then years and years and years ago it's been like what like over five years now on twitch five to six years something like that something crazy um the first games that i really did to like branch out was like resident evil survival horror stuff right because it was kind of similar to zombies in in a little bit of a way um so i i don't know i like i i didn't branch out like crazy and do wildly different stuff on twitch but i would say one, in the early years of starting on Twitch, when I played Alan Wake, when I played Control, um, and then eventually I played Quantum Break for you guys, even though I already played it, just I just wanted to show you guys why I loved it. Um, we never had a billion viewers by any means. We never had like the most viewers we've you know we we could have if I played Call of Duty Zombies on stream. You know what I mean? But it was one of those games where like for the eighty the eighty people, I always remember it was always about eighty people for every Remedy game, and for those people. You know, like literally, like cats in the chat. Um, hopefully, I, I don't know if is Kylie here in the chat. I don't know uh, where Kylie is, but like multiple people, like they'll just show up when we're playing a remedy game because it was a vibe, man. It was a good time. Hope you are like too, Silent. Thank you. Into the game, but it's really good so far. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Um, but yeah, I was just gonna say, chat, before we sort of dive deep here into the uh, the craziness. Um, I really, like, I think for the most part, all of the VODs are still around somewhere on Twitch. I would love if they would come out, like, on the Archive channel on YouTube someday. Um, hopefully, hopefully we can make that happen, because it is a really, really interesting watch. And all the games are pretty much connected, um, in one way or another. Quantum Break, they say, isn't connected. But it is. It's just not legally connected. Um... <laughs> 
<laughs> like, it's really ridiculous. Like, it's crazy. Like, Quantum Break is 100% has some connection to this game um, as well, but they just can't legally say it. It's the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. Um, like, Sean Ashmore, I'm pretty sure, is in the game. Uh, like, they literally announced that on Twitter at one point. I'm like, what? What? Wh huh? So uh, there's a lot of stuff like that where it's like, wait, what? What is going on? Um, so I don't know. There's, there's going to be a lot of things like that where I'm going to be shouting like random references to things. And if you were not there for it, if, if you didn't follow the other stuff, you're probably be like, what is he talking about? But it is a ride and I hope you enjoy it kind of thing. Um, I don't know what else I was going to say. I, I'm trying to think. Uh, I don't know, man. Rimini Games has been really fun. And I feel like a lot of the the recent games, um, pretty much every Remedy game, aside from Alan Wake, has been constantly teasing Alan Wake's return. Um, and if you didn't play Control, very, very awesome game, by the way. Highly recommend it. It gives you like SCP vibes. Um, and there's a lot of like paranormal stuff going on that this like this bureau like oversees and stuff. It's really freaking cool. But that game basically like Full, fully went for it and said, we're in the same universe as Alan Wake. In fact, we have a whole DLC, what Kat just mentioned, we have a whole DLC that is teasing Alan Wake 2, that is teasing Alan coming back, and please, oh my God, save him because he's trapped in a nightmare dimension. Like, that is literally like the last Remedy thing story-wise was like, oh my God, um, like, Alan is in control and he's literally like like they made a whole DLC about it so if you guys missed that it was it was crazy um so we've been expecting this game for a while and when they announced it and when they like started showing it off it's like oh my god it's real it's all holy hell they're actually doing it um and just to throw this out to you guys too in prep for this stream sorry I'm talking a lot here but bear with me because I want to get to it in prep for this stream I when I went to, I, I didn't even really talk about this on stream yet. I don't think I've had a stream since before I left on my trip, right? We finished arc two of Persona, and then I went on my trip to Orlando, to Disney and Universal with Emmy, sort of like taking a bit of a break. When I was flying there, I won't even talk about Disney and all that. We'll, we'll save it for another time. But when I was flying there, I played, I replayed all of Alan Wake. I, it was, it's about like four and a half hours uh, of a plane ride for us. I played half the game on the trip going there. And then I played like a level or so uh, at one of our hotels during the trip at night. Like Lily had a full day at Universal or whatever. And I came home, uh, to, we went to the hotel and we're like dead exhausted. And I'm just like, hold on, let me look at, let me load up my switch and play more Alan Wake because I want to replay it before the new one gets here. And then um, coming back on the plane, I finished it. Um, and so I have completely replayed Alan Wake 1 to refresh my brain of everything. Um, I have completely, like, like the DLC stuff as well. Like, I know what that's all about. I also um, have literally watched an entire recap video, like, condensing everything from Alan Wake to Control because there's a lot of stuff that I didn't even remember from Control because it's been so freaking long. Um, and yeah, like the recap video kind of mentions American Nightmare. I've never played American Nightmare, but I know a lot about it, uh, Sean. But but yeah, I mainly want to re replay the first one, um, Alan Wake, because I, I, I just really want to feel the design difference. Not even just from like story, but I really wanted to feel like, okay, let me see how, how they really do Alan Wake 2 and like what things I'm going to notice where I'm just like, wow they really upgraded what that kind of gameplay is. And it feels like they've picked the right decisions. Um, from the reviews that came out today, my God, chat. We have another game of the year contender potentially on our hands with this game. Control got mad awards when Control came out. And it's looking like this game has a higher rating than Control on Metacritic, I think. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Or it's close. Um, but a lot of people are saying this is maybe the best Remedy game. And I'm just like, holy hell, they did it. <laughs> I'm like, like, even before playing, I'm like, I already knew I was going to like this game. But then seeing that, 
all, like all the reviews across the board, like saying that it's so good. I'm just like, man, what a absolute God. Like what, what just what an absolute like victory lap for remedy to release a game that they so clearly wanted to make for so freaking long. Um, and then not to mention it actually review well. And people say it's like, this is it. This is the game that's going to define remedy for a while. Um, so I don't know. Long story short, I'm really excited. Um, and I am going to be freaking out at a lot of stuff. Uh, we'll be playing a little bit, not a ton because I do have work tomorrow. Uh, but hopefully, um, we, we will get a couple hours in tonight chat. That's, that's sort of the plan. Um, I am fully expecting, yeah, like Lou what Dominus said, I am fully expecting that this game for me, because I'm a massive Remedy fan at this point and I love everything they do. I am fully expecting this game to probably be on a top three list for me of games this year. Um, that's so crazy to say without even playing it, but that's genuinely my expectation because I love Quantum Break so much. I love Control so much. And if this game is better than those games, and it's also survival horror, which is like Resident Evil vibes, which we love here. Like, let's be real. Like Resident Evil 4, we loved. If this is like, like, like how is Resi, how do you make Resident Evil 4 a better game? You have like, for me, for me, for me, JC, you have Resident Evil 4 type gameplay or Resident Evil 2 remake to 4 type gameplay, but with an added layer of like mysterious storytelling that's like wacky and wild like the zombie story. Do you know what I mean? That's like literally the coolest, like I'm here for it. Whatever that is, I'm here for it. And a flashlight, exactly. Like, I want cryptic vibes. I want a story that makes me think. And I really, really, really want to just feel for the characters. And I already feel for Alan for what he went through in the first game. I'm just excited, dude. Like, I, I like, will we see Jesse in this game? Like, no spoilers, please. But, like, I'm genuinely, like, so curious. I'm like, are we going to be, like, playing the game and all of a sudden we're like yeah the director of F the fbc is coming to uh say see what's going on in bright falls like come on dude like it's possible i i don't know man i really don't know what could happen all i know is this man is trapped um in in the dark place and we need to free him because god dang it it's been too long he's been stuck there for a long time <laughs> <laughs> I, I literally don't even know, man. I don't even know how this is gonna start. Been looking for this year. Very excited. I'm hoping it'll be the horror game I've been looking for this year. Very excited. Me too, Tyson. Me too. I really did love RE4 remake though this year. I think I think that game is a 10 out of 10 as well. Um, so hopefully we'll. I'm I'm putting a lot of pressure on this game. I need to maybe maybe I should reel back my expectation. But it's a remedy game. And we very much have enjoyed those on this channel if you've been around for a while. So I, we will see. Wee Man, thank you for the 11 months. Andrew, thank you for the two. Um, Silent, again, thank you for the year. My God. Chat, get some 07s for that. Um, glad you like the game so far. It's amazing. Jump Pixel Reset for 25. St. Jason, I've been waiting for this uh, for you. I, I've been waiting for this for you. I'm so hyped to be here. I love that some of you guys are just like joining the stream because you know that I'm going to be so happy. Like, you're like, I've been waiting for this for you, JC. Like, hell yeah. Dude, I love that. That make, makes me even more excited. Ermac with the five months saying, five months, loving the Persona 5 streams. Can't wait for some COD in that mix in a few weeks. We're definitely going to check out COD uh, with MW3. Um, definitely will be checking out Zombies. And I'll give you guys some honest thoughts about that when that happens. Um, I know that there was like some teaser about more MW3 stuff, I think, today. But... I'll be honest, I like Alan Wake is is so interesting to me and I I, I really want to just talk about this right now. Um, but yeah, we'll get there. We'll get there when it comes out. We will. Uh, Kit Kat, what's up? Thank you for the three years. Holy three years. What a great stream to get my three years on. Happy to be a part of this community for this long. Here's the even more great times. Kat, thank you for being around for so damn long and thanks for joining us for more Remedy stuff. I really appreciate it. Chat, get some hearts in chat for that as well. Um, Elijah resub for 56 and yo, it's JC. That's crazy. Also Spider-Man 2 might be one of my favorite games of all time. Just saying a lot of people are saying that we will definitely try to play Spider-Man 2 for you guys on stream at some point. Um, hopefully this year, uh, 
we just got to see, man. I know you guys want Persona, and I know you want Spider-Man, and I know a lot of you guys, legacy guys here, y'all want Alan Wake, so we're gonna just have to figure it out. I also have Sonic, uh, I was about to say Forces. I gotta play Sonic Frontiers DLC, man. I still haven't done that. I still haven't played RE4 DLC. God, so much I gotta do this year. Pregnant, thank you for the 22 months, as well as saying almost two years. Let's go. Heck yeah. Thank you. And Jax with the 37 saying, yo, I've been waiting for this stream. There you go. And then Donster Holy came shit, in. Holy shit, 30 months. Hope you enjoy this playthrough. Excited to sit back and watch. Hope the stream goes well. Thank less you than so much. Less thank you so much. I'm excited to. Thank all of y'all for subbing. I really do appreciate it. Yeah, so I don't know got DLC. You can play as the other characters. It's really cool. Haven't played it yet, though. Um... Satchel was on the chat. Won't be staying long because I want to uh, play these games at some point, but enjoy the ride, man. Also, chat, happy to let you know that Persona 5 Royal Part 2 is being completed tonight. So if you're wondering, that next part will be up soon. Probably much love, everyone. If Satchel is true to what he is saying, chat, Satchel's been cooking on Arc 2 video, that means, hopefully, the Arc 2 video will come out this weekend for Persona 5 enjoyers. And then we can start Arc 3 somewhere next week probably once we're done with Alan Wake. Or maybe I take a break from Alan Wake because I just don't want it to end. And I'm like, hey, let's put a pause on that. Let's play some Arc 3 or Persona. I don't know. We'll see. But um, but yeah, I, I'm super stoked for that. Thanks for working on that, Satchel. I appreciate it. Um, hopefully we we do, uh, we get some of the, uh, we'll, we'll get some Alan Wake uh, 2 VODs on the archive channel at least, hopefully in the next couple days. Uh, Rob says, we want you, man. Screw Legend of Zelda. We want the Legend of JC, the search for winter under the couch of apocalypse. <laughs> Rob, I appreciate you. I don't know where my cat just went, chat. I swear y'all saw y'all saw Ellie or something. I don't know where she went. Oh, she's behind me. Hello. You want to say hi? Hey, Ellie. Want to say hi? I know. Hi. Come here. Nope. Come here. There you go. Look how big she's getting, chat. She's getting so big. Hello. Say hi, Ellie. Say hi. You want to save Alan? Do you know where the dark place is? Do you know what the dark presence is? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Bye-bye. Okay. I'm going to throw... No. She just wants to play with this. Look. Look at this cat. of my time <laughs> she literally just got bored of me <laughs> she, uh, we'll, we'll leave her out for a bit because i i don't i don't want her to like disturb this oh my god oh my god chat um uh, kirk says farewell chat and streamer i hope you love it as it seems you're very excited it makes me want to play we appreciate you thanks for stopping by thanks for stopping by no worries we will be back to more persona and stuff soon so no worries. Also, we got 147 people in here. My God, chat. I don't even... Here's the here's the best part about being a streamer nowadays and not having to worry about, like, it being my full-time job as much. I don't even tweet out the streams anymore. Like, don't even do it. And there's still 142 people in here. 13 years what the hell, minutes. guys? Thank you. Let's freaking go. Gonna dip when game starts to avoid spoilers, but enjoy a less than three. Yeah, you might wanna you might wanna avoid if you don't want spoilers. But to be fair, I will say, guys, just to let you know, I know I'm saying this game's connected to a lot of things. Um poke, but also I am here. Hello, see. keep in mind that I truly believe that they probably designed this game, especially when if there's that other character saga in the game. I I really do think that they designed this game as a you could play it without playing the other things. So do know that, okay? Um, I, I, I don't think it's a thing where you have to play Alan Wake 1 and you have to play Control. Like, I think it's more like you could, it probably enhances it, but I bet you that it's gonna recap a lot for us. I imagine so. Especially if they're doing a different genre for the first time, like uh, they're gonna have to. I want them to as well. It's gonna give me like chills when they start doing that, uh, but yeah. If you want to dip, though, feel free. I understand. Russo, thank you for the 58 months saying, I'm here. Hello. What's up? Hello. 
Hello, hello, hello. Chat, we got so many freaking things on the dashboard right now. By the way, I do have Spider-Man 2 installed. Just letting you know, I do got it. I got the deluxe edition installed, all right? It's there. So please know, I'm not lying to you. I will play it at some point, okay? It's not yet, all right? It's not yet. We got Alway 2, Monsters Wear, Mini Faces. Why did, oh, dude, okay, I like that. I like that line, but I kind of wish that it just said, it's not a lake, it's an ocean. Like, you know what I mean? Like, why isn't it saying that? That should be the freaking line on the game. Monsters Wear Mini Faces is kind of weird. Like, that's a weird decision. Like, it should be, it's it's not a lake, it's an ocean. Like, come on, I wanna see that on my PS5 dashboard. <laughs> God dang it, yo, Fortnite. So the only reason I was downloading Fortnite is I wanted to see what the um, Alan Wake, they had an Alan Wake level that was like, like official. I'm not even kidding, chat. I literally re-downloaded, <laughs> I literally re downloaded Fortnite because I was like, oh, maybe I should go hop into the Alan Wake Island thing that they added. But then I was like, you know what? Nah, let's replay the whole game. So <laughs> I ended up replaying the whole game instead. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Um, okay, I'm just gonna press. We're, we're, we're just gonna get into it. it. It's 1040 at night, dude. But it is very spooky. It is very spooky vibes right now, which is good. You know? We are we are in the right vibe. Are you gonna get the Alan Wake skin? Dude, I should. I also had the deluxe edition of Alan Wake as well. Um... I don't like two, so I don't know what that gives me. Um, probably gives me something, but I, I don't know currently. Let me lower my face cam a little bit. There we go. What is this? Am I about to get like doxxed? My God. That's a long scroll. <laughs> hold on, hold on, chat. Let me, let me, just in case I don't get doxxed. Okay, game saving, photo sensitivity warning, certain flashing images or light patterns may cause. Oh, okay, okay, nice. Um, all right, here we go. Ooh. Oh my God, oh, I don't have HDR, I'm sorry chat, uh, not on stream. But I hope, I've heard this game runs actually very well on PS5, so very excited about that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn up the brightness a little bit for you guys, because I, I like doing that. I don't know if that's, how's that, how's that look to you guys? I just, I just want to look maybe like 55, maybe something like that, you know? I don't know. Time for me to the dark place myself. Enjoy this, JC. I know I will. Dude, I'm excited. I will play the Alan Wake level of Fortnite since I've never thought I'd hear. Right? Right, dude, I know. Oh, man. This is where I dip hope chat does well and that the game is good as it seems. See you in another stream or in YouTube comments. Thank you so much. Have a good night. Have a good night. Orlando was great chat, but I want to save Alan. <laughs> I don't even, I don't even know what to talk about. Like I, I, I needed, it needs to be another stream where I talk about Orlando. There was a lot, dude. Also like a day after we left a day after we went to Epcot, I'll, I'll say this fun, fun story. A day after we left Epcot, the next day, Epcot was like going viral because some guy jumped into the water at the fake Italy location in Epcot for a bet. And I was like, are you kidding me? I missed that. Like it was literally like a day after we were there. Some guy was literally just like, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And like the, the jump was like, it was like 10 feet. It was like nothing. Um, and he got banned for life. He literally, he literally got banned for life. Like, literally can never go to Disney ever again in his life because he, he was, like, drunk and did a bet to jump in the water like a dummy. It was so weird. Oh, my God. Jason, you want to play test some of the finals? Oh, heck yeah. Enjoy it. Finals is great. I like that game a lot. Text language, Eng or te text language English. Dialogue, dialogue language English. Subtitles on, of course. We're gonna go performance mode, baby. All the way, all the way. Performance mode. Gonna hit continue. Oh, Jesus. Why is it like so quiet? Oh, I'm terrified. Dude, what? There's like no audio. 
Ew. It's Louis the Cabin as well. Oh my. Am I going crazy or is this like really quiet? Oh Jesus Lord. I I I don't think I'm like ready for this game actually being scary. Like none of the Remedy games are scary. This is this is not I didn't think about this. <laughs> I just <laughs> I don't know why. I just don't think a Remedy game is scary. It's the fact that we finally have a scary one. Um Oh God. Also Tyson, I'm with you. Epcot, all the showcases are really cool. They are. Cosmetics. All right, so I... Oh, this is the deluxe edition. I got a... I got a red windbreaker. The sweater, oh, so... What is this? Oh, I can give her an oh dear diner sweater. That's hilarious. I might do that. Was a sawed off shotgun skin? Oh, I'm definitely putting those on. I want to keep her in the uh, the. Uh, I don't think she's in the FBC. She's just FBI, right? I don't. I'm not sure. From the trailers, I just think she's in the FBI. So different from the FBC. Okay, here's, dude, my boy looks so good. Oh my God. Oh my God, he looks good. Um, Outfit, celebrity suit, what is that? Oh, <laughs> that's pretty sick. I, I, just very John Wick, if you do that. Revolver skin though? Oh yeah, we're putting that one on. Um, Double barreled shotgun skin? Oh yeah, I want, I want things to look like Pack-A-Punch. Um, celebrity suit could be cool. Chat, what do you think? Do we, do we do the default or do we do celebrity suit? What are you thinking? What are you thinking? I'm, I'm such a fan of how Remedy, like, their art design and I, I, like, I hate screwing with it. But also if they gave this as a thing, then. What do you think? More eerie than scary, but this game's got to be more scary than the others, though. Right? JC should have kept the long hair. To be fair, hey, I'm kind of maybe I maybe I'm Alan. I just start like jump scaring you guys. I wish I was Alan, to be honest. Wait, am I? I am trying to remember. Is Alan Awake One the one with the video? camera scary game from like six why? seven years ago no also why did i compare you to alan <laughs> wakes look hey so you're <laughs> you're compare hey that my self-confidence because he looks so good thank you for the 39 months you legend chaos thank you um i was gonna say uh mike no um you're thinking of outlast that's that's outlast where you play as like a videographer and you're running around and all you can do is just run um, very good game, but Alan Wake is about the writer. Dude, I don't even know how to explain what Alan Wake is about. It's so hard to explain. Like, I want, I want them to recap it. I really do, but I don't know if they will. Um, maybe, maybe they'll, they'll, they'll teach us about it as we go in. Alan Wake was a story about a writer, a famous writer who got mixed up in a supernatural event where his stories, where you're playing the game and the things, you start picking up pages of a manuscript that you haven't written yet. That is foretelling what is happening to you. And you're basically a part of your own horror story that you're forced to write. And there's a lot of like flashbacks and all this kind of stuff. There's a lot of crazy storytelling going on. And long story short, this man is kind of spoilers. Doesn't really matter because it's not going to answer much. This man is literally trapped and he has been trapped for 13 years. And, and just know that he was a writer who is trapped in a supernatural location. That's probably all you need to know. And the rest will probably be explained. 
because a lot happened. <laughs> a lot happened, man. It was, it was, it was crazy. All right, I'm gonna put on. You guys said celebrity suit, so let's do celebrity suit. We'll give him the celebrity suit because he is a famous writer. We love him. Um, let me really quickly put on my. I don't even want to look at this yet. I'm, I'll keep motion blur and film grain just to see how it looks, because I like seeing how they, how they do it. Um. What is this? Oh, Jesus. There's high frequency sounds. Speaker name and subtitles, I will do that. I will take that, I like that. Um, show subtitles for the in-world signs, eh, maybe not. You can hide the HUD, that's really cool. Nudity sensor. Remedy games. It's, it's Remedy Entertainment. What are you doing? Like, what? This is a very different game than the first game. My God. Um. What am I looking for? Uh. Where is? I I need something. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> oh my god. Okay. Inverted. We did it. Chat, do we press start? I'm scared. I can't believe this game is real. Like, I, I really hope this is, like, a new standard for them. I'm excited. Yes? Okay. Oh my god. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mute the alert sounds. They, they'll still show up on screen, but I'm gonna mute them for however this starts. Oh my God. Uh, also, does that look in sync for you guys? I think it is, right? I think it's pretty much in sync, okay. Oh. I'm definitely not doing story mode. Let's do normal. I, I thought about this before. I think I want to do normal because I don't know how the gameplay is on this. And I remember when I tried hard mode on Resident Evil 4 this year and I really regretted it. Let's do normal. Because I want to experience how this game, like I have no idea how this game is designed compared to other Remedy games. And I kind of want to know how they throw you into, like I just want to know what they, they deem as normal, you know? I like evaluating it that way. It's the most nerdy thing ever, but here we go. Use hand flare to escape the enemy's grapple and harm. Oh my God. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Oh my God, I'm so freaking excited. How, oh, how are they gonna start this? Back to the beginning. We all come to a story with hopes and expectations, looking for an answer. Oh, God. <laughs> Sometimes it would be better to live with that hope without ever knowing the full story. RF Switch, welcome. Welcome to the stream. Welcome. Glad to see you here. Thank you. I did. Hearing his voice again, chat, yeah. In a horror story, there are only victims and monsters. And the trick is not to end up as either. But trapped by the genre, we are all ripped to pieces along the way. Dear. This is not the story I hoped it would be. This is not the ending I wanted. Dear. This story will eat us alive. This story is a monster. And monsters wear many faces. Holy hell, chat. The, the cinematography already. Oh my god. Is this, Col is this Cauldron Lake? What? Who the hell is this? 
What? I'm playing as a naked dude. Huh? <laughs> I am starting Alan Wake 2 as a naked dude that just crawled out of the of the lake. Oh my god, look at the lake. Jesus, that's way scarier than before. Also, wait, I'm just gonna like go full face cam for a second. Did they? Oh my god, I think they did. We are we will not be turning around. We will not be turning around. We, we, will, we will not be turning around. We will not be turning around. Let's just walk forward, chat. Walk forward, okay? It's fine. It's a video game. I won't get banned if it's an actual video game. Uh, but still, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're not gonna show that. No pee pee. No, no. Not today. What the hell? Also, who is this? Who is this? Ed. Huh? Where did he go? Who's Ed and Tammy? I don't remember an Ed and Tammy. Maybe I'm going crazy. There's gonna be so many characters I'm gonna try to like see if I remember them. Bro, this is like giving when you're when you play as the robot in your automata. <laughs> you know what I mean? In the bucket and you go. <laughs> like, this is like this is like Route C of Near Automata, and I literally like the game just started. What's happening? Can I go this way? Oh, this is very odd. Very odd. Stop, dude. Stop. Stop. Chat, I, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna warn you. I, I think I'm gonna curse this playthrough. Throwing it out there. Survival horror. Mature game. I, I don't think I can hold back if I get jump scared. I'm just apologizing in advance, okay? Um. Holy hell, look at the trees. Dude, what a weird opening. They really said we open up with a guy's ass. That will really throw him for a loop. JC thought he was gonna... <laughs> JC thought he was gonna play as a deer. Can you not... Stop. What, what direction was... I don't even know which direction I came from. Show me your what? Is it this way? I don't know, dude. I don't... I, I really like ah! you mother f stop Jesus I know you've been trapped for 13 years bro but calm down I'm here to save you don't do that holy f oh my god yeah this is already scarier than the first game Oh, hell no. Don't do that. You can sprint by toggling. Okay. Run. Oh, God. Run. Jesse, is the FBC here? Can you contain this? Ah! What the f What the actual hell? What? Oh, hell no. Bro. Oh, F this. Run. Literally run, bro. Just run. No, hell that. Uh, hell no. Hell no. I don't know what I'm saying. Bye. Bye. Bro. 
There's a light! The light! The light! I know, I played out wake. The light. Oh my god. Where's the rest of the stuff? I need to finish this. We're dead. What the fuck? So it's happened, like... Title? <laughs> oh my god! Oh, oh shoot, dude, that was... Dude, the way it split it up, too, oh my god. What the f What? Oh. Hey, kiddo. How are you? I'm good, Mom. Saw that for. This trip might take a little longer than I thought. What the? I'm sorry I've been gone so much lately, Logan. Oh my God, Mom! It's not your fault. People get all murdery. What happened? Just work stuff. Right. Well, Dad and I are just watching the latest episode of Night Springs here. Mom, it's so. Don't good. watch Night Springs. No spoilers. <laughs> I'll let you get back to the show. You were supposed to wait and watch with me. I love you both. Turn this up a little bit. This is what happens when you go on work trips, Mom. Love you too. And say hi to Casey. Tell him to stop brooding so much. Logan. I will. Bye, kiddo. Say hi to Casey. <laughs> there he is. Why is Alex Casey in the real world? Logan thinks you should try cheering up. <laughs> Snarky kid. Wonder where she gets that from. <laughs> what? What is happening? What the f Guys, Alex Casey it can't be a was the protagonist the in Alan Wake's as we arrive in town. books. Feels like the killer's leaving us a message. And he's low-key kinda like Max Payne. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. It's right up your alley. You should take lead. Do you think of me as the backup? This is crazy. Okay. Any words of advice? Nothing that would cheer anyone up. Why is the game so quiet? I don't know. I, I turned it up though. I might need to like rebalance it in the Here audio. Aldrin Lake. Time to get to work. Why are you real? Why are you real? Why are you real? You shouldn't be real. Saga, you're fine. I'm talking about him though. Why? A deputy was supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene. There's the car. So where's the deputy? <laughs> Eaten by a bear? I'll check out that map. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, worth memorizing before we get swallowed up by the trees. Okay, really fast. I'm going to look at audio and see if I can like Hmm. Oh, dialogue. Wait, why is 
I'm gonna put dialogue vo volume up a little bit. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's just it is pretty quiet, but I I will turn it up for you guys. We will see. But did, did it not say? Wait, it did not say chapter. What did it say, chat? What did it say exactly? I missed it. It's an invitation. Invitation, but what what did it say? That it, it said return at the top. It said return one. Oh my lord! No, it didn't. Oh my god. I should take a look at that map. Okay, I like having the dialogue actually a little bit louder. To be honest. Um. Dear God. I like that the I like that there's like no crazy UI on the screen. It's just like, let's let's vibe. Also, yeah. So is he chat again? Really qu quick lore. I'm gonna do active time lore for Final Fantasy 16 for you. What was really cool about Alan Wake One was that Alan Wake was a famous writer for writing this like series of books about this detective named Alex Casey. Remedy is a studio that, if you don't know originally made the Max Payne games. Um, so when they made Alan Wake, they sort of made Alex Casey as like a nod to Max Payne. Like they basically kind of went, ha ha, Alan Wake's a famous writer and he kind of like, he wrote Max Payne basically without saying the words Max Payne. Does that make sense? It's kind of like them being cheeky and being like, wouldn't it be cool if, like, our next protagonist wrote the story of the last protagonist? Like, that's what they did. Um, Sam Lake, who's, like, literally, like, the director of, like, Remedy Games, basically, and a lot of the storytelling, was, like, the original face as well, like, the face model person for uh, Max Payne back in the day. And, like, if you've ever seen, like, the cover of that, those old games, like, it's, it's Sam Lake's face on it. And so now he's here performance acting as the face model and the mocap i assume but the voice that they're using actually is the same voice actor as max Payne. you guys are saying that in the chat is it actually it's been a long time since i played max Payne, but if it's actually that's so cool so like sam lake is literally mocapping the performance and the face and the voice is the original max Payne voice for this character named Alex Casey that shouldn't be here, by the way, because you are a fictional character that Alan Wake wrote. That's kind of weird. But also, all of Alan Wake 1 was about real thing uh, stories coming to life. So I don't know why he's here right now. We're, we're, we're going to find out eventually. But that's really cool. Um, James McCaffrey. I didn't know the actor name. I didn't, I didn't play um, uh, Max Payne like everybody else. I play, weirdly enough, I, the only Max Payne I play is 3, which is the uh, Rockstar one. Um, but yeah. Nightmare Territory. What? Pick up a map. I think I hear someone. What is this? Oh, damn. We literally have a map of Mind Place... Mind Place Cauldron Lake. Get to the crime scene. Find the deputies. Okay. You're home in the pines. Okay. Can I... Yeah, the other button doesn't do anything. Got it. Got it. Okay. Mind Place. I just think of literally like... Uh, what was it? Not Doctor Who. Um... Uh, Sherlock, Mind Palace. I'm currently watching the crest now. I'm here. What's up, Silver? Hell yeah! What is up? We just started, so it's been very crazy so far. Hey, but over here. Hello. Hey there, Agent Casey. Right, Sheriff Breaker said you'd be coming by to take over the case. You're half right. Anderson. Saga Anderson. I'll be leading this case. Okay. Seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. Shoot. Sorry about that, ma'am. I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that 
you know, that, uh... Where are those damn feds gonna show up, Mulligan? Ooh. The federal agent's right here, Thornton. Oof. My partner, Thornton, <laughs> down at the crime scene. He's not what you call the sharpest axe in the shed. Right here? What do you mean? Are they with you? Oh, shit! They didn't hear me, did they? <laughs> Um, I can use a briefing. What can you tell us about the crime scene? Tell them about the heart. I was getting to So that what we experienced at the very beginning was the crime? Well, we reckon there are some uh, organs that are currently outside the victim's person when they should be, but you know. Just casual heart inside. being ripped out. Nice. Um, any witnesses? Were there any witnesses? Yeah, a couple out of towners. I wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at night. Tammy and Ed? Not that we have anything against city folk, cried Thornton. But don't worry, Sheriff Breaker took them back to town a while ago. Wait a second, chat, you're right. Wait, hold on. Derps, dude, yeah, it does. The sign does say FBC. This location is closed to the public by the order of the FBC. <laughs> what? Literally right from the get-go, there's a control reference. What? Okay, so what I remember from the control DLC, I, I'm sorry I'm hard on a lot, but what I remember is that the control DLC was very much like, Control in general very much made it clear that the FBC is investigating Bright Falls. After everything that happened from Alan Wake, the Federal Bureau of Control is, like, investigating all the things that have been happening here. So, and I'm pretty sure they set up an outpost here at some point in the future, um, especially after the Alan Wake stuff, um, to keep overseeing Cauldron Lake and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure. Um, because I remember... There was like files and documents and the AWU DLC explained a lot of that too. And the whole AWU DLC, sorry, I'm kind of like explaining a little bit of stuff, but I mean, we're playing only two. I'm sorry. Uh, but AWU DLC literally made it very clear. I remember like literally the ending of it was kind of like, we're getting a notification that there's an alarm at the outpost at Bright Falls, but it's from a future date. And it's basically like teasing that Alan Wake 2 was going to happen. Um, it was really, really cool though. So like they, ba they basically have been monitoring, monitoring this area and mon monitoring all the weird stuff. Um, but I don't know how much they'll actually be involved in this game or if they're just like passerbys watching unclear. Also, that being said, I remember them interviewing Alice. Um, if you guys remember that they were like interviewing Alan's wife and stuff at the FBC. So I hope she comes back into play at some point. We'll see. Um, I don't know. I want to see the body. How do we get there? Oh, sure, that's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence, down the hill towards the lake, around the old convenience store, you can't miss it. Everything's been closed since the area was fenced off. Okay. The store, the campground, all of it. Hey, Mulligan, tell him I'm here, wait. I'll show him around. They got it, Thornton. <laughs> <laughs> the NPC dialogue looks really nice. I, I'm, I'm a fan. It, it, it looks pretty natural for just talking to a guy. Can I run? Okay, I can run around. Is there anything I can... Dude, I cannot... Go check something out. Yeah, I want to see. Be if right I, back. I want to see if there's anything else I can find. Need to head to the crime scene. No time to waste. Wait. Can I go this way? Uh, I. Can I go down here? Or is this the way I'm supposed to go? Where the hell am I? Cauldron Lake. Oh. <gasps> the Federal Bureau of Control? That's a new one. <laughs> volcanic gas, huh? 
The FBC is an obscure branch. It only shows up for unusual cases. Well, what's so unusual about volcanic gas? Beats me. That. Locked. They really don't want people coming in here. I have a gun. What is this? Oh, I have no items to do anything with that. Oh my God, it's literally like Resident Evil. Dude, this is so cool already. Like, I'm already finding stuff in the first area. I'm already finding stuff. Oh my God, chat. I'm gonna go crazy with this game. What the f... The rarest wildlife in the Pacific. Huh? Can I can I do anything with that? Can I select that? Oh. Oh no, it just tells me what it says. I finally made my way to Cauldron Lake. The fence was easy to climb over with the proper gear and skills, which I thankfully possess. Next goal, spotting the rare and elusive orange crowned warbler. A little late in the season, but hopefully I can catch it before it begins its journey south. I've noticed intriguing behavior in the surrounding common bird life. They seem to be alarmed and swarm around the lake. No birds of prey nearby. There's some strange sounds carried on the wind, however. Uh, nothing I can recognize or explain. Getting a little concerned. I might have to find another spot somewhere safe. The sounds are getting closer. Moved inland. Inland Foliage is, foli fol foliage is stunning. Most, uh, must come back in the fall. I had to stop and sketch this gorgeous vine maple. Just at the way the Methuselah's beard hangs off it. This is why trees are better than people. I feel that. Speaking of people, saw some drunk guy staggering around the forest earlier, acting weird. Maybe drugs? Kept my distance. Should probably find another spot. So annoying. After I saw that weirdo guy, decided to change spots again. Moved up the mountain a bit. Found a fantastic overlooked, uh, overlook to camp at, but I'm more interested in the Alaska onion grass. Invasive, but edible and surprisingly tasty. Started hearing wolves or wild dogs or something like 10 minutes ago, but they sound wrong. Rabies? Want to leave, but the sun is going down and my stupid phone is dead. Going to hide in the tent and hope they go away. Something is really not right about this place. God, bro. God, chat. I'm here for this. I'm so here for this. I... I hope... Here's what I want. I want a lot of notes, like control, but I want... This sounds crazy. I know I love lore, but Control had a lot. Like, I feel like Control, there was so much. I really want it to be, like, just the right amount. You know what I mean? Like, just the right touch where I'm not pausing every five seconds. But but that there are just, like, in very interesting locations where I'm like, oh, guys, look, I found a note, you know? The control, there was, like, a note, like, in every office room. It was cool, but... You know, definitely, there definitely was a lot of it. Um, okay, we got the map there. What was over here? This is so cool that I can explore all this, though. Oh. I'm not done here yet. Oh, my God. Okay. They don't want me to go there. They said, nah, nah, nah. Don't do that. Not yet. I had just to wait to read the lore and control a lot of time right all at once later. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that. Okay, I feel like that's probably all I could explore. I'm going to go through here now. The hell? Before we get to the crime scene, there's time to review the facts of the case so far. Make sure I'm seeing the clues clearly. What do you mean? What do you mean by that? Can I talk to you like Uncharted moment? Extra dialogue moment. Dude, I cannot believe Sam Lake is just walking around with you in this game. Like, I... <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Chat, I don't think you guys realize, like, this is literally like if you were playing Mob the Dead and Jason Blundell is, like, one of the characters. Do you know what I mean? Like, that is literally, like, the vibe right now. That's so crazy. Like, it's literally like you're playing Mob the Dead and you're like, oh, dude, yeah, like, oh, Brutus? He's like, yeah, he's... <laughs> I need to think through the facts of the case. Oh. You can access the case board inside the Mayan Palace. Mine the place. Mine place. Mine place, sorry. My version of the Mine Palace technique. Mine Palace, see? To sift through clues and work the case. Building the Mine Place again for each case. Using each field office as a model in my head. 
What the f The facts are on the board. Huh? Can I just walk around? What? Everything we know about the previous murders. Worth taking another look. What? The case board is a mental technique that allows Saga to analyze clues and progress the investigation. You can use the right stick to move around. You can zoom in. Okay. You are now free to navigate the case board or leave by pressing a circle. Well, I don't want to leave. Oh. Oh. Confidential. Can I, like, do anything with this? There's the map. Oh, okay, it's all in the same thing. Cauldron Lake murders. Um, a series of murders have occurred around the town of Bright Falls. Finding the connections will help our search for the killer. Um... Murder method. Slight difference in murders. Bloating only commonality in bodies. Uh, but not cause of death. Chest trauma. Exposure to water post-mortem. Bruising on wrists and legs. Two of the victims had bruising. Some form of restraint. Strapped or belted down. Most recent victim died of major chest trauma. Consistent with 2018 victim. 2018 victim? What? Hard to confirm due to the condition of a body. 2018 victim. When did Control come out? <laughs> 2018? <laughs> Wait, when did, when did Control come out? <laughs> um, bloating of the corpse is indicative... Uh, indic indic indicative... Why can't I say it? Indicative. Indicative. Indicative of drowning. Only one victim was found in the water. Interesting. So here are the victims. All victims reported missing in 2010. 2005. Control came out in 2019. Got it. Why were you guys writing 2005? <laughs> Ted Lane, dentist, stab wounds, bloating, bruising on the wrists. Okay. Reported missing in 2010. Discovered in 2012. Buried in a shallow grave. When did Alan Wake come out? <laughs> I just want to make sure. When did, when did Alan Wake come out? The first game? Someone looked that up really fast. Was it 2010? It was not 1996, bro. Yeah, it was 2010. Okay, so this, this happened around Alan Wake 1. Interesting. Wendy Davis, teacher, body bloated, large chest wound. Found in Cauldron Lake, 2018. State, wait. Predation? I don't know what predation means. Some organs missing. State of the body does not match eight years spent in a lake. Weird. Found two weeks ago. This was the guy. This must have been who we just played as. Percy Wolf. Store owner, bruising, heart removed, strange that strange tattoos. So it's it's happened in 2010 and 2018. Interesting. And then now. Killer profile. Victim 3 is covered in ineligible tattoos. A message from the killer maybe? Or their art? That's weird. Um, apart from... Can you, guys, can you guys read this? Apart from going missing in 2010, the victims have nothing apparent in common. Wait, they all went missing in 2010? Oh, yeah. Oh, weird. They all went missing during the Alan, during Alan Wake 1. Killer may be a sportsman or hunter. That's so weird. Okay, cool. So if I back out of this now, and there's the map. Oh, my God. They, like, fully visualized all this. Whoa. Is there anything else I can look at? Can I go outside? Can you imagine? <laughs> can you go outside of your mind? There's a pistol magazine, some water. It's giving me like Ocean View Hotel vibes chat. I don't know if it is, but it's definitely, I don't think it is. That must be um, her daughter, Logan, maybe. <laughs> hey, um, <laughs> okay, what, what is, 
What is Alex Casey doing in, doing there? Are they like close friends? Can I touch this TV? Watch Bright Falls or not Bright Falls, uh, Night Springs, please. Um, I, this is weird. Get to the crime scene. Meet Deputy Thor in the general store. I see you're already hard at work, Anderson. Close to cracking it. We're just getting started. Let's head down the hill to the crime scene. Yo, it does not pause the game. It remembers where I was. In the mine palace. Wait, if I go here. You gotta be kidding me, dude. That That's really cool. What? That's super cool. Let's go. I mean, uh, I believe predation just means like predator signs, like parts of them eaten. Got it. Got it. Okay. All right. So far, hey, Casey. pretty cool. You putting me in charge. Why now? Look, Anderson, you're a better detective than I am. You've cracked cases that had the rest of us baffled. I don't want to slow you down. Are you thinking of retiring? You know what happens to cops who say this is their last case. Mm-hmm. Real funny, Anderson. Yo, meta commentary on Sam Lake? Please don't retire, Sam Lake. We need more. Um, I don't know. I don't know if that's what that was, but... Um, chaos at Cauldron Lake. Uh, rampage at the r rental cabins? When was this? Well, okay, anyways. Rampage at... Rampage at the rental cabins. Unidentified man attacks vacationers in the dead of night. Sunday, an idyllic evening of barbecuing and late night fishing was violently disrupted Saturday as a mysterious assailant attacked park visitors, causing chaos and destruction at the cabins. The incident left three people injured, one of, the, one of which has been admitted to the county hospital. As where the attacker is still at large, Bright Falls police have yet to make an official statement, leaving local residents in a state of uncertainty. Witnesses to the crime were visibly shaken, one of whom stated one minute we were laughing and toasting some marshmallows. The next we heard screaming coming up from the cabins. We didn't know what was going on. So we called the police and started running in the opposite direction, said Kurt Mill. Another eyewitness who preferred to remain anonymous said, it's like he appeared out of nowhere. Suddenly my dog started barking his head off and this psycho guy comes crashing through the trees. Don't think I'll ever feel safe in the forest again. A representative from the rental cabins who chose to remain anonymous wanted to remind customers if you have plans to stay in our lovely cabins later this summer please get in touch with us so we may have to rejigger some of the reservations based on the state of the cabin that you have rented with us the representative went on to further remind future potential guests the wonderful amenities that can found the company's brochures on the website which is real nice uh state of the art my nephew made it and he's a real computer whiz what the f chaos i call missing doberman found on the trail a heartfelt reunion took place this weekend when Miss Amanda Smith was reunited with her beloved dog, Coffee Bean. <laughs> CB, as its owner refers to him, has been missing for three days. And Mrs. This is like dark, bro. Oh, my God. You guys ever seen dark? Mrs. Smith was afraid that she would never see her best friend again. When I got the call, I couldn't ask my ears. I couldn't b believe my ears, she said. I must have asked, am I dreaming? At least seven or eight times. It was actually nine times confirmed Ranger Stevenson, the man responsible for finding the wayward canine it's rare you get to give those kinds of calls I feel really grateful that we've had the opportunity huh even if coffee beans in rough shape the fur will grow back sure but well i suppose that's all i should say about that okay so a dog came back after a while does a hike a day keep uh keep depression away it might be bright sunny july but it's never too soon to start worrying about the gloomy months of autumn ahead that's right in the grand scheme of life those dead, depressing days are just around the corner. Have you been taking your vitamin D? Probably not, but for all of you thinking there's got to be another way, there's good news. Hiking has been proven to be incredibly beneficial to your mental and emotional health. Just get on out there and just do it. Just don't forget a flashlight in case it gets dark. Oh, my God. That's funny. Um, Bright Falls' own virtual baking champ, little Sally Upton's whole family erupted into cheers when she won the big match this weekend. Was she playing soccer, tennis? Nope. Uh, in this brave new world that we live in, her family is cheering her on as she won a match and a game that exists only on the information superhighway. The game in question was Mega Baking Star, in which players compete to make the tastiest treats and sweetest eats for their virtual judges online. <laughs> okay, this is definitely more recent, man. Uh, Bright Falls congratulates Sally on her big win. Damn, Sally. That's crazy. 
Good for good for you, Sally. Honestly, good for you. Winning your online virtual baking competition. That's awesome. Saga Anderson, like Norse uh, I'll be back Saga, in a is she related Roger. to the Anderson brothers? Unclear. Unclear. Maybe. Probably. Can I shoot that? I need something to cut this. Okay, understandable. The oh. creepy twig sculpture. Ooh. I could have completely missed that. Wait, does that appear in my... Does it? No. Where would that go to then? Huh. Where would that go to? You know what I mean? Like, shouldn't it appear here? In theory? I don't know. Whoa, you have different cases. Oh, jeez. Okay, let's just go back. I don't know, dude. Cooking Mama has become an esport. You get lost. I guess it has. Is it another thing? Is this why I just read? No, I just read that. It's so funny, like the game, like like Alan Wake One. I swear you could just jump on things like crazy because it's more action game. This this game definitely feels more like on rails, like a survival horror. You know, like I I can't just like jump on rocks and stuff. Definitely feels more contained right now. I like how they've already established as well that they're not part of the FBC. Stairs are out. It's pretty cool. You okay to jump down? I'm not that old. <laughs> <laughs> Mirror Peak. The mighty mountain in the distance is none other than Mirror Peak, the iconic landmark overlooking Cauldron Lake. Mirror Peak? Am I, okay. From the right angle, it's beautifully reflected on the calm surface of the lake, mirrored in all of its inverted glory. Yo, they got inverted love. Let's go, chat. See, we do like inverted gameplay here in this house. See, fucking nature <laughs> gives me a headache. It's too much sky, <laughs> dude. I just want to go look at the paths. Like, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. I just want to go this way. What's this way? I think I saw something. What did you see? It'll only take a minute. I'll wait here. This. What is this? Huh? Huh? Dude, I just want to explore. Will she turn around? She I need to go back. She did not like that. Got okay. a case to solve. What did I see? I, it's got to be this way then. Chat, tell me if I looks like I'm missing something. I feel like this is definitely something. But maybe that just tells me I should go this way. Um, what? Mortar Falls? It's powerful feat of nature will revive the spirit as it does the surrounding nature. The churning, grinding waters at the bottom of the falls resemble a mortar and pestle, quite like the one the Witch of Cauldron Lake is fabled to have used to travel through the night sky. <laughs> okay. Okay, 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 okay. All right. Is that a... What? Kid's lunchbox? Excuse me? An Alex Casey movie lunchbox. Casey hates the endless jokes about coincidentally having the same name as a fake detective. <laughs> Wait. He hates those cheesy crime books, but he really hates the movies. I was about to say, right? Like, they do know that Alex Casey is a character. That's weird. That's weird. How, like, are, they're not sus of that? I mean, I guess it, like there's no actual reasonable explanation. 
My dad used to say when the going gets tough, the tough gets going. Not sure where the tough gets going to, but maybe you'll find it inspiring. Manuscript fragments? What? What is a manuscript fragment, bro? Manuscript fragments can be used to upgrade weapons? <laughs> Wait, what? What? Excuse me? Excuse me. Hold the fire button to activate auto fire mode. This significantly increases the fire the rate of fire. Bullets increase the magazine size by 50. Another headshot. Land two headshots in a quick succession to stun an enemy. Oh my god. Well, I only have two. That's cool. That's what the pistol thing was. That's crazy. Okay. Um, that's cool, but that's we're we're already learning weird stuff is going on. They're not sus of the fact that he has the same name. Interesting. Not a bad place to get murdered. Hey. Hmm. Just chill. getting back to nature is your thing. Good to see you still in one piece, Anderson. Forest can be a dangerous place. Damn. Should have brought an umbrella. I like the rain. The only thing around here that feels like home. You think the local law had the sense to put up a tarp? Hmm. If they did, next coffee's on me. Where's the thermos, bro? I need to see a thermos. The phone. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's like dialogue. Whoa, that's so weird that you can just do that. I'll look around. See you in a bit. Take your time. There's so much to explore, chat. What is this? Can't go any further. Water's too deep. Yeah, don't go in there. Don't go in there. What is this? <gasps> <gasps> they brought those. Oh my god. What? What? Whoa, you guys can't see that. Um, my face cam was completely covering it. I, I literally had an inventory space like Resident Evil. Um, okay. How do I look at that? Oh. Um, guys, just check, check, check a look at, look at that. Logan's charm increases maximum health. That must be from Deluxe Edition. Um. <sighs> flashlight. Bracelet made by Logan for her mother has hooks to attach charms to. That's cute. Um, battery pack. Oh my god. I lay it with batteries and handgun ammo and pistol. Interesting. Interesting. Alright, there we go. Just wanted to show you guys. Um, that's really cool though. That red box as well. There's a ton of those in Alan Wake 1. So like they actually kept that design. Uh, which is kind of cool. I like that. I like that very much. Um, so I went down there. Which is hot? Anderson. I want to walk around for a minute. You know where to find me. Um. Which is hut? Here lived the. Ew! I didn't like how that window opened like that. Here lived the witch of Cauldron Lake. Beware, her spirit may still haunt this place. Uh, guys, oh, hell no. Oh, hell no, guys. Uh-uh, 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 I... Oh, hell no, oh, hell no, oh, no. Oh no. Oh god. Um, oh god. Oh god. It's literally like it's we're in the daytime, right? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Dude, I don't like uh, no. Nah. 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 No, 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 no. No. Why? 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 No.
Why, dude? I can't even... Can I shoot? I can't even bring out my gun. What was that? I can, I can like, dodge. Um... Hell no! 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 Why? Why? The lighting is doing something really strange. Guys. Guys, what the hell is I, I'm I'm like I, I I don't like stuff like this, dude. I really I really don't like stuff like this. The window is literally broken. Is there even anything in here? Donation? <sighs> what is this donation? I'm replaying it. Oh, I'll put this to use. Good evening, JC. Hope you had a lovely vacation. Florida sounds like a lot of fun. This game looks fun. Central Park looking a little weird, but hopefully you unlock web slinging soon. Spider Woman for the win. Watching with Franklin the Third. <laughs> Franklin is back, chat. <laughs> God dang it. We're not in Central Park. No, we're not there. We're not there. Adam, thank you for the resub as well. Oh my God. Thank you guys. All right, I'm gonna mute the sounds again, but Jesus, thank you. We are, we are not there. Why are there like weird like footprints? Like, is that a glitch? Why would I shut the door? Guys, do I shut the door? No. Guys. We all know that that's going to do something probably, right? I I got ah, oh, damn. What just happened, bro? Get me out of here. Literally get me out of here. Okay. I... Screw that. Screw that. No. If I turn around or something and there's something in that window... That would legit be the scariest thing of all time. Like, I... No. What is this? The hell? Friday, Midge told me today that her family's moving away. This sucks. I haven't even told her that I like her yet. What's the point anymore? She said her parents want to get better jobs and get her to a better school in a big city. I guess that's fair. Who wants to say in bright f***ing falls? I feel that. Um, it says, uh, sorry, I'll just read it. It says, Sunday, so I told her. She said, thanks. Effing kill me. Monday, I snuck out last night again. Went to the big house by the lake. Instead of just watching it from here like I always do, instead of... Just sitting around like I always do. Screw that. Anyway, something weird is going on down there. I'm going to find out what. Going to go back there tomorrow with better gear. I bet I can find a way inside the building. Take some photos. It's going to be epic. Went to the big house by the lake. Um. Is that like the FBC research station or something? Or is that... What is this? Is that a bandage? A lunchbox again. Who's leaving these out here? Bro, it's surrounding it's surrounded by little pillows. I know things can get a little crazy around here, but if you're ever feeling scared, just remember that Alan is watching over us. 
What? <laughs> um. <laughs> and there's like hearts on it. I know things can get a little crazy around here, but if you're ever feeling scared, just remember that Alan is watching over us. Heart, Alan Hart. I'm gonna make a wild prediction. Wild prediction. You ready for this? You ready for this? Wild prediction time. If I'm right, Alan Wake one, Cynthia Weaver, the lady with the little lamp, right, is the one who leaves all the like the messages in yellow all across the world, right? That's like that was like sorry, I'm I'm gonna spoil stuff all the time in this playthrough. I'm sorry. But Alan Wake One, you find out that the old lady, Cynthia Weaver, she's leaving all these messages, and you find out that she had a crush on Thomas Zane, who was the poet that kind of like saved Alan multiple times and also like the poet's a it's a whole thing. Thomas Zane was like this bright light that helped us. He kind of wrote himself out of existence at one point. It's kind of a crazy thing. Regardless, um, Thomas, Thomas Zane's wife, Barbara Jagger, was like the weird, um, creepy witch thing that the Dark Presence inhabited in Alan Wake 1. So when they say like the witch's house and stuff, I just think of that when they say that. That's basically like what you fought in the game. Um, she was like the Dark Presence incarnate because Thomas Sane um, messed up in the past. But also, yeah, also he was a filmmaker as well. Anyways, regardless, um, which could actually tie into this as well, there is a character in Alan Wake 1 that had, in a similar way, has a crush on Alan. Cynthia Weaver has a crush on Zane, and Zane is very much like, very much like, the same, almost the same, same similar character as Alan is. Like something happened to Zane. He was a poet. A lot of things happened because of his poetry or his filmmaking. It's a lot of weird stuff. And then a lot of stuff happen, happens to Alan later. There's a character in Alan Wake 1 that has a crush on Alan. Her name is Rose. And she works at the diner. Okay? Yes, she's the waitress at the diner. And at the end of Alan Wake 1... She also got, like, affected by the Dark Presence at one point. Like, she kind of, like, got, like, mind control a little bit. At the end of the game, they show her holding a lamp just like Cynthia did. My guess is that Rose, the hearts around the name Alan, I don't think it's Alice leaving anything. Alice is, like, off doing something else probably. I don't know. I would love to see Alice in this game. I don't know if they're going to do that. But Alice, I think, is involved with FBC or something like that. I think this could be Rose leaving us things. In a similar way that Cynthia left us things in the first game, I think that Rose may have taken that place, and she leaves little lunchboxes from, uh, for us. And also, she's from the diner. She works at the diner. That's my prediction. And she knows that Alan's still out there somewhere because she literally had a whole moment with him in the first game. And she was affected by the Dark Presence. That is my prediction. Um, I think that'd be really cool. Because it'd be very much like, you know, like a repeating cycle with new characters. Um, but also makes sense because it makes a lot of sense with what happened to her in the last game. Um, okay, I think that's everything here. I don't know what that other note is about. Bro, I hate this. I hate this cabin. Like, just please take me away from this cabin. What is down here? What? Okay. Do we have an explanation for Mr. Scratch? I don't know. Um, I know he's going to show up in this game, but I don't know. I'm. Which is Ladle? That's terrifying. Oh, F off, dude. No, no. <gasps> <gasps> oh! That's Barbara. Because she has the missing hole in her heart. <gasps> that was all Alan Wake 1. What? That's Zane's wife. Um, 
which is little. There is no mystery in Cauldron Lake being named after its cauldron shape, and yet there are many mysterious stories about the lake, it being a gloomy doorway to the underworld, or of a witch whose cauldron the lake really was. The legend tells that when the affections of a local sheriff went unanswered, he accused the lady in question of having bewitched him. She was drowned, but her dropped ladle grew into a strange tree named the Witch's Ladle. The woman returned to avenge her wrongdoers. If she was not a witch before, she was one now. She killed the sheriff, drowning him in the lake. Then she took out his heart and locked it in a box. With the heart, she would summon him from the lake to exact revenge on her behalf, or so the legend goes. What the hell, guys? Weird. The only streamer I've seen actually remembers details about the first game. Thank you. I, I replayed it this week, so it's fresh in my brain. A lot of it is fresh in my brain. I'm going to go this way. Dude. The atmosphere is wild, though. Like, can we talk about, like, how good the atmosphere is? It is Witch, Witch Finder Station? Brother, what do you mean? Can I go in the water? Oh, God. No, I, I don't think I can. Okay, they don't want me to go further. Let's, yeah, let's, let's just move on. I don't think there's, oh. So this tree must be the ladle thing. That's odd. I'm really, no, no. You know what? I'm good. I'm actually good. You know, I'm actually good. Um, remedy. I, I think I'm good, to be honest. Um, yeah. Uh, uh huh. Right. 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 The sounds. Oh. Yeah, I think I'm good. Bigfoot, yeah, literally walked through there. Um, uh, can you take me back to uh, Max Payne, please? <laughs> Where, where's Where's Alex? Where's the lad? You good? Where are you at? Bro, where the f... Where the hell am I, dude? There's a... Oh, he's over here? Deputy Thornton, I take it. That's me, at your service. Ready to get this case solved. Now the body's behind the store. Come on, I'll show you. Okay. I see you still in one piece, Anderson. Forest can be a dangerous place. Oh, press so. circle. That's so cool. Hunting down psycho serial killers and shootouts with the mob. You forgot the UFO cover-ups. What? Those are real? You guys hiring? Let's just see this body, shall we? Alright, let's use oh a flashlight. Oh baby, first flashlight gameplay chat. Here we go. So do I have unlimited flashlight right now? I guess so. What is this? Monday 9-3. Some suspicious activity spotted. The fielder thought he saw movement in the bushes. Footprints around the area were found, but some were compromised by the fielder. Uh, note to self, train the fielder. Tuesday 9-4. Nothing to report. Some, some animals, regular. Wednesday 9-5. Hunters out after dark. Poachers heard some gunshots. Not one of ours. Gotta keep an eye on these people. They could get more than they bargained for out there. Interesting. Oh, hell no. 
here's the thing, right? Like, they're not going to have gameplay when Alex and all of them are outside, right? Dude, I remember in, a, in some demo, a deer guy appeared through a wall. And I don't know where that is. And I'm really scared. <laughs> I remember in the marketing, like, there was definitely a moment like that. What did I just collect? Huh? Um, see, I'm adding things, but where, where are these items going? Like, I'm definitely adding clues to something. Weapon upgrade three. Yeah, I don't have enough. I like how, I like how it shows you what you have. Like, I want to know where those, like, items are going. Whoa! Maybe, maybe it's going to the board, but it's just not on the board yet? I don't know. I would like to know. Anything else in here? No? Okay. This flashlight doesn't work in the daytime. At 2023, we have LED flashlights. No, nah, they'll still have the battery thing, though, surely. It's so integral to the first game. Unless they got, like, solar <laughs> like so solar powered uh, battery. The ultimate upgrade. Oh, God. Now, this is the scene of the crime. We found him on the table. And we didn't touch nothing. You know, procedures and... Stuff. Thanks, Deputy. No tarp. You owe me a coffee. <laughs> okay. Let's start by examining our guest of honor. Yeah, I don't want to look at PP pee -pee, though. Does this of the previous murders? Um. Uh. Step one. Examine the corpse. Do we, do we have to? I don't know if I want to do that, Saga. Body is positioned on the table. Ritualistic. You unlocked your first key image. You can place it on the case board inside the man pass. No, I unlocked way more than that. Wow, well, sorry to see. What? Oh, maybe it is a key image. Sorry. Another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Coincidence? What? Place a key image on the case board begins a new line of investigation? Huh. When a key image is placed, it will prompt a new question. Okay. Objectives are viewable at the case board and your goals. Okay. Yeah, but what? what's like all those other things that I kept finding? So I can literally go here to my case board, go down my cases and swap through Alex Casey lunch boxes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, here we go. Finding a Casey movie lunchbox out here can't be a coincidence. Another message? Brother, what? Who left us here? I should keep an eye out for others. A lunchbox found near... Where, where would I put this? Hmm. Oh! A note inside mentions Alan. Alan Wake? What the hell are these? Bro, what? Rifles are... Find evidence. Whoa! Whoa! Who left these? Think Saga. So it doesn't go there. Lunchbox near waterfall. Right here? Hmm. How do I do this? What in the world? Find evidence. I 
how do I how do I like I'm trying to see Bright Falls area Cauldron Lake area who left these maybe yeah maybe this does it not go the does it go the other one <clears throat> no it doesn't seem like it yeah I don't I don't think there's a way to place this or it goes there uh, it doesn't seem like it though on top yellow paper oh oh it just goes up there with it the writer of the notes is leaving these to inspire someone are they really for me what weird so i can go with my other cases I need a key image for another one, though, with the symbol thing that I found before, I bet. That's where the... This is so interesting. So there's, there's a lot to figure out, then. Interesting. It's reminding me a lot of Outer Wilds chat. I don't know if you guys are getting that vibe, but I'm getting that vibe. You can collect clues from the body to progress the investigation. Okay. Bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. Right. Inside stab wound, chest cut open, heart removed. The killer left the heart right next to the body. That's weird. Why would they do that? So now I can... New discovery clues can be placed onto the open question. Consistent with previous murders? Doesn't look right. Hmm. Yeah, there we go. I see. I see. You really put it to the question. Chest, strapped by the wrists. Definitely matches the previous murders. But this time the heart and the straps were left behind. More clues to work with. This makes four murders that we know about. Four. The clues are resolved the open question and unlocked a deduction. As you advance the investigation, new questions will be unlocked, updating your goals. Huh. You're now free to examine the case board or leave to collect more clues. The victim, the killers. So now, now we need to find more things, but we just don't have any answers to this yet. Cool. Who Got is it. our victim? Who killed him? Need to find more clues. Large amount of blood on the table. Got it. The victim died here. What are you what are you suggesting? Have you identified Any the victim? idea who the victim is? Oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. <gasps> FBI. He came to town about 13 years ago. No. I haven't heard a word about him since. Well, until now. Nightingale. What? Robert Nightingale. What? Oh, yes. You probably knew him. Brothers in arms. Oh, and sisters. Are you kidding me? So you knew our victim. Well, I didn't recognize him in his current state. But yeah, I ran into him a few times. Dude, he literally ago. chased Alan we in the first game. cases together. After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. Got the boot pretty quick after that. So he's been missing since 2010? Nightingale went missing 13 years ago. Oh, my God. 2010. The same as all the other victims. Certainly fits the pattern. Makes me wonder what was going on that year. Probably something this town wants to forget. So what happened to Nightingale oh after the Bureau let him go? Oh, my God. I only know the rumors. <laughs> Depression led to booze. Booze led to paranoia. He got some wild ideas in his head. Chased ghosts <laughs> until he fell off the map. Oh my God. Guess he ended up here. I bet there's more to that story. But no That's happy That's crazy. Ending. Chat. Oh my God, we got another donation from... What the... Who... Hold on. Hold on. I gotta replay this. I'm not gonna read it yet until it comes through. Oh, I'll put this to use. My stepsister says you says you hate her child in Spider-Man 2. Kinda rude if you ask me. Frank... Frank Lanita says, My stepsister says you say 
you hate her child and Spider-Man 2. Kind of rude, if you ask me. What? <laughs> how many? How many family members do you have, Franklin? How many? That's like the fifth, the fifth or sixth family member. <laughs> Thank you so much for the dodos, but I, <laughs> this god dang Spider-Man two meme, god dang it, god dang it, chat. Oh my god, let me get some clues. <laughs> what is this? Collect. Someone left in a hurry. Mm. Knock the tripod over. Is there something else? I Was can... it for a camera? Someone was drinking beer. Hey. They spent time here, waiting. So you can put those clues on the case board. So I can go back to the case board right now. Oh my God, I have so many. The victim, okay. Victim is Robert Nightingale. No one's heard from this guy in 13 years. Why, is, why surface now? Where's he been? Oh my god, this is so cool. Um, let's do this over here. Uh, nope. Oh. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Heavy blood spider on the table. They really made a mess here. Cut up in the act or just sloppy work? Yo! Oh my god, we, dude, guys. Every time I, like, turn my head, you guys have already subbed and donated more. Let me... I'll bring, I'll bring it back for right now because we're not in a major cutscene. Um, watery said... Thanks for the awesome streams as usual. Appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks so thank you all for being here, chat. We got 168 people this late at night. Appreciate y'all. Thank you. Like seriously, hearts in the chat for everybody. I appreciate it. Also, Franklin Black Jr. also doing another five dollars. Oh, I'll put this to use. A lot. I said, how many family members do you have? <laughs> A lot. A lot. A lot, bro. <laughs> for later. Ooh. Oh, it's Lily Tommy. Don't do this yet. That's funny. Um, Nightingale went off the deep end. FBI fired him. <sighs> so over here? Yeah. Okay. Robert Nightingale, ex-FBI, came to Bright Falls Dude. 13 years ago. That's so cool. That's so freaking cool. Love it. All right, so I think we're good on that. But what about that many lunchbox? I don't Who left these. I think I'm starting to get it though. Yeah, see, I have more. Oh, this is still for later as well. Okay. I literally only have two things. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. All right. We're good. Let's go back in. I love how there's like no loading to get to that as well. Oh, that's just like instant. You know? Very nice. Multiple people were here. Mm. Multiple killers? Hmm. I see. I think that's everything. For now, at least. Mm -hmm. Anything clicking yet? Not sure. Need to think about it. Okay. So now I have evidence. Multiple set of footprints. So put that here. Boom. Boom. Answer. Prints indicating multiple killers. Mm -hmm. Quite the party. Premeditated or spontaneous? There's a tripod found in your body. Hey. Looks new. Brought by the killers. Why to mount a camera? Weird. Um, and then the cooler. They planned for the murder to happen here. Passing the time with equipment ready. Interesting. They were waiting for him. But why Nightingale? Yeah, what? He's been missing for 13 years. Do you usually stream late at night? Honestly, yeah, to be honest. Why here? Because I, I have a full-time job in the day. Victim came from... Profiling. <gasps> Get into the subject's head. Hey, See what they saw. Hello? Feel what they felt. Our Peace switch, thank you so much. About them to guide my intuition to a revelation. Piece it together. You can use profiling inside Saga's mind place to get inside the heads of suspects and victims. You can, like, get inside their head? So what is this? This mug always cheers me up. Not the worst mom. That's cute. Oh, finally. Okay, look at this. Switch, thank you so much again. Um, 
Using her intuition, Saga can discover new clues by profiling people of interest. The beginning of the game we were playing is Nightingale? Wait, like, hold the phone. The beginning of the game we were playing as the guy that tried to shoot at you multiple times in Alan Wake. One. Also, Rip. He's gone. The last I saw of Nightingale, remember when he got, like, pulled from, like, the darkness? Like, you were in the jail cell, and all of a sudden he, like, picks up the manuscript, and he's like, I think this is where I'm about to die. And he literally, <laughs> he literally gets, like, pulled. <laughs> like, he, like, reads his own, like, death moment. Uh, but I guess he didn't die. He just got like, pulled into the darkness. But, but then he wakes up out of the ocean, or the lake, in 2023, and gets killed by a bunch of people? Like, what? That's so strange. Okay, let's see what this is. Missing person ritual murder. Let's do missing person. Agent Nightingale has been MIA for 13 years. How did he end up here? Oh, this is sick. Oh, yeah. Up from the lake that's not a lake. It's dark. He was there, too. You are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. Nightingale came from the lake before his murder. Huh? How did how did you figure that out? And Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Why? Flick the switch. It goes click. Lights are off. At somebody's home. Somebody's home. This wasn't some random act of violence. This was a ritual. A Nightingale a component. They didn't see him as a person. More like a container for something. Nightingale. Okay, so you can like rewatch it. Why? Flick the switch. It goes click. It's like this switch. It goes click. Lights are off. At somebody's home. Somebody's home. That's so this cool. This wasn't some random act of violence. This was a ritual. Yeah, it said a he. A component. What? They didn't see him as a person. The other thing said More like said a container he. for something. Clay says, I want to stay in support, but that is the story. This is the story I've been waiting for. Uh, so I hope the stream is good. Clayto, all good. Enjoy your journey as well. You can always catch back up later. No worries. All right, so he came from Cauldron Lake. Damn. I can feel that Nightingale came from the lake, but why now after 13 years? Where has he been? Up from the lake that's not a lake. It's dark. He was there too. You are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. Brother, what? Okay, that is. Who's he? It's gotta be. The lake is connected Alan? to Nightingale somehow. I don't know. Casey, let's take a look down by the lake. Lead the way. Sounds good. Uh, this way, right? Right. Okay. Well, I'll just, uh, I'll just wait here. You're gonna die. <laughs> Let's be real. He's so dead. He's so dead. This one of your hunches, Anderson? Did something happen at the lake? I think Nightingale came up from that direction. From the lake. Probably looking for shelter. What? Safety. How do you know this? They were waiting for him. When you're ready, I'd love to hear what you put together. Like, so how, does she have like sure. crazy intuition or something? It's not that complicated. Nightingale was out in the woods alone at night, possibly nude. The killers knew he was here, ambushed him, dragged him to the campgrounds, strapped him to the table, cut his heart out. But then they were interrupted by those witnesses, the bookers. The job is unfinished. And that seems pretty complicated to me. What was this guy doing skinny dipping at this time of year? Yeah, I'm with you, Switch. Haven't I think the that same part thing. Out yet. Mm hmm. Lots of questions. Lots of answers for us to find. I didn't know trees got that big. Uh oh. Gives me the creeps. Uh oh. You need to get out more. It is kind of creepy, though. Uh oh. Nope. <laughs> Yeah, I think I think it's possible that she definitely has some sort of power. I mean, that was really strange what she was doing. 
you know, but th there's always like, there's all, always shows like that, you know, all the time about like the detective that has a little bit of like a supernatural power. Even Sherlock to some degree is very much like that, even though um, it's kind of like more realistic looking, but there's moments where you're like, dude, you're insane. Like you're, you're inhuman, you know? But yeah, I am with you guys on like the fact that she's, her last name's Anderson is also kind of sus. Very sus. What? There's a piece of paper on the ground. Of course there is. What does the paper say? Why can't I read that? What? Tracks. Wait, I want to read that. Nightingales? I want to read. They come out from under the boulder. It makes no sense. Huh? I can kind of make it out. Maybe they're about to talk about it. Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, we're stupid, chat. We're trying <laughs> I'm trying to like <laughs> literally about to a page full of text on one side, not a printout, written with a typewriter, old school. Uh oh. Lines scratched out and edits added with a pen. Uh oh. Mm hmm. Like a manuscript. Oh, here we go. Page of a story. Here we go. Hmm. Killer left a message. It's for us. The text is about us. The victim was one of their own. FBI special agent. <laughs> and then there was a page they found. The first step down into terrifying depths. Reading, Reading the words. The words. <gasps> These words felt like a message. Felt like a message. Someone knew they were here. Someone playing a game with them. Oh. An invitation. How could they not accept, even, even if they, they knew, knew it would end up hurting them? An invitation. That's what the chapter's called. An invitation. Someone's been watching us. Playing a sick game with us. Pick up the first you manuscript right. page. This is right Bro. up my alley. Bro. Nightingale came this way. Either he dropped this page, or the killers left it for us. Oh, dude, I got I got chills, Matt. Should scene. profile Nightingale about this page. Should profile manuscript pages can be read inside Saga's mind. Okay, where though? Oh my good God! And it's like the same UI from the first game. The message. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale gone missing here 13 years ago. Now he had suddenly turned up only to be murdered in a brutal ritual on the very day of their arrival. And then there was the page. This page. The first page that they had found. Not the last. The first step down into terrifying depths. Secret truths trembling beyond the threshold. Reading the words. These words. Felt like a message. Was a message. Someone knew they were here. What they were doing. Someone playing a game with them. Leading them on. An invitation. How could they not accept? The sheer audacity of this impossible mystery presented to them. Even if they knew it would end up hurting them. <laughs> oh, God. I'm going to love this game. Oh, God. I'm going to love it. The page. We found a page in the woods. A story about these events. What is Nightingale's role in this? I carry his words close to my chest now. Inside. The awful truth. You must dig it out. Something was put inside him. In his chest. <laughs> I must find out what. Hey, Saga? How do you know that, Saga? Um, what? How are you communicating? Bro, what the f- It's so weird. This is so strange. What case am I even looking at right now? Um, not that one. Oh, oh, oh. Talk to someone. Okay, I need to talk to somebody for that. Dude. Find evidence. 
Find evidence. I left these. Okay. I think that's it. Okay. All right. Let's just go. Is Alan trying to lead Saga to free him from the dark place? I mean, 100% yes to some capacity, but I also don't. There's more that's going on than just that. Like, I, I think that's, I think that definitely is what, it, the, like, because the whole point of this game, for many of us coming into it, is like, we got to save Alan, right? Like, that's like, like, priority number one as a fan. I want to see my boy get out, you know? I would love if, if, if he could, you know, be okay. Um, so, I think that's what's going on. Like, I think that there's, there's definitely some element of, like, he is sending them a message and it's going to lead to somehow a new way for him to escape. Hey, but don't know what all the other Good. killing stuff is though. I don't know. I understand hope he didn't that. get stuck in any of those big puddles. Crazy flooding down there, huh? Just like I said. Oh god. Yeah, she's hearing him like how Jesse heard the director. Yeah, very similar. Like even the way they shot it is very, very same same style. Um, where the I don't know if I can do anything with this yet. They said in his chest, right? How can I... Can I do something? Oh my gosh, my... Oh! Sorry, chat, my... Oh, the manuscript pages are there. That's cool. Um... Can I not... How do I do, do anything with this? This way? I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. Got it. I can't even go this way. Is there anything this way? Yeah, case board stuff you could do? Oh, what did I actually? Uh oh. Oh, there's a keypad. Hello, this is Agent Anderson and Agent Casey, FBI. We'd like to come in and ask a few questions pertaining to an investigation. <laughs> what? Nice talking to you, too. Oh. Dude, chat, chat, this is it. This is the research facility. Look, look. Lake House, Federal Bureau of Control Research Department Laboratory, authorized personnel only. Oh. <laughs> Bro, what's going on there? I want to know. I want to know, bro. I want to know. <laughs> Anyways, let's go to the case board. What can I do with the case board? Um, okay. Oh, I do have I do have other stuff. I'm stupid. Oh wait. Oh wait. Hold on, chat. I I, I got it mixed up. You're currently using one on the board. I thought I only had two. But I had more than that. Okay. Footprints emerging from under a rock. Boom. Trail has gone cold. I think he came from the lake, but his tracks make no sense. Anything else here? I think there's something inside of him. Reading the words, these words felt like a message. Someone playing a game with them. Found all I can here. Hmm. Time to properly examine the body. See what I can find inside. Casey. I think something's been put inside Nightingale's body. Let's tell the deputies to get the body to the town morgue. Okay. Bro, I can't. Like, what is this? Have I been in here? Oh, hell no. What is this? Bro, what? Hey there, Mr. Deer. 
You remind me of a dream I had. Yo, no, 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 dude. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, dude. Yeah, it reminds me of symbols from zombies. Like, I'm 100% with you. Why is there, like, there's arrows pointed up, two pointed down, two entangled. Huh? Is there, like, a safe? What? There's symbols everywhere. This is like a damn Easter egg, dude. What? Let this be a warning to you, fellow trespassers. They say the lake is a caldera, something formed by an erupting volcano or the sinkholes it leaves in its wake. But what if that's not true? What if it's something else? Something less natural and much more man-made, intentional. I say the lake's not formed. It's designed and it has a purpose. The lake is a hiding place. Beneath the calm surface lies a secret machinery ready to be activated at the press of a button. And the people with that button, they're in that big house by the lake, preparing it. I know it. The control people. First drawing, water line, real caldera is made from a volcano, lava. Uh, second drawing, water line, engineered structure, strange machines. So they must be, I wonder if the bureau is invest, like actually building things on it. Um... Those branches you found earlier were triangles like those? Yeah. You're not wrong. They did kind of look like that. That's really odd. There's a lot of them. They're like all over this place. Weird. I, like, I thought it would be like a safe code. Like, didn't you guys think it would be something like that too? There is a ton though. So it might be a little bit too much. That might just be... Hey, Casey. What's the forest's favorite shape? Please, Anderson. Just one case without the ridiculous. A triangle. I don't get it. Yes, you do. A triangle? <laughs> Can I go this way? I'm getting like closer and closer to the lake house thing. Oh, yeah, look, there's more of this too. Strange. Bro, I'm finding so much stuff, guys. I feel like we haven't we haven't even fought anything yet. How do you like the knitting, hero? I had made I had made just for you. I'm telling you, chat, it's Rose. I'm telling you. Who 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 else could it be? Um Like it just definitely it definitely sounds like I like it sounds like very feminine, right? Like it sounds like it's definitely a woman or someone who's feminine. So I think it's Rose. I missed something? Wait, did I? FBC is another experience on su supernatural activity. Yeah, I mean, they definitely have the state. I remember they said that in control. They had a station out here. What did I miss? Um, oh, wait, there was something. Whoa. UFOs and you, the ultimate guide is spotting unidentified flying objects. Write this down in case it happens again and I forget. I got that feeling again. It hit me suddenly at 1.15 a.m. They're screwing with me, right? There's no way. After I finished my ama on the porch of the trip i don't know what ama is i got in the car and drove chasing it starry night not much moon as expected it led me past uh bright falls to cauldron lake emmy just texted me can you d turn the air down no i'm playing a video game you're literally the one who's not playing a video game right now um i'll do it in a second um, starry night, not much moon. As expected, let me pass Bright Falls to Cauldron Lake. I tried to find the right spot, the right emotion, the right thought, the combination to have it all aligned to make it happen. Terrified it would. It didn't. Um, not this time. Frustrated, but relieved. I scanned the sky for the shapes, the objects, nothing. But then when I blink repeatedly, I think I saw the after image of an oct uh, octahedron. It faded fast. When I got ready to drive back, I felt someone watching me. Here, but not here. It's him. I know it is. Does he know I'm getting close? I'm on the right track. I was right to come to Bright Falls. He 
It's him. I know it is. Does he know I'm getting close? What's an ama? I'm going to look up the word ama. Ama. It's an affordable housing management association. What? That can't be right. Um, it could be ancient history and Mediterranean archaeology. Maybe it's that ancient history and ar archaeology. Weird. I don't know. Um, I scan the sh the sky for shapes. That's so strange. There's no way this could be like Alice or something, right? Like, like she feels the energy that he's still somewhere near the lake. I'm getting flashbacks. Like, I don't know. Remember Ohio? Sure. The North Side Slasher. But that case was completely different. The trees, Anderson. He hid the bodies in the forest. Weird. Ohio? Chat, I don't know what that reference is. Was that a, was that a Max Payne reference? Huh. <clears throat> I literally have no idea. What are y'all talking? What are y'all talking about right now? All right, hold on. I'm gonna go. I'm literally gonna go um, really fast. Turn down the air for Emmy. One second. Shall I watch your Alan Wake one stream before us? Uh, you don't have to, to be honest. But we are referencing a lot of that stuff. My Alan one stream, be warned, is me when I was like like 20 years old. <laughs> like I'm 26 now, so. It's literally like I was 20 or 21 in Auburn, Alabama. So I don't know if you want to watch that. I'm a very different person. Hey guys, just to let you know, all the lights are off in my house and it's very scary. I'll be right back.
All right, chat, I'm back. Sorry. Sorry about that. Oh. Let's go back to the body. Yeah, I wonder if the Ocean View Hotel, I'm pretty sure the Ocean View Hotel will come Did back. Did you know this point. entire area is inside a caldera? Uh oh. This whole mountain used to be an active volcano. Imagine the force it took to carve this crater out of the earth. Caldera is a pretty rare, so be sure to take it in. You got it. I didn't. I used to love geology when I was in school. I helped Logan build a great baking soda volcano for her science fair. Cheating on a science fair? That's almost a crime, Anderson. I'm not gonna say no to quality time with a volcano. <laughs> I mean, my daughter. <laughs> they left a lot of garbage. Not the fastidious type. Where the hell do I go, Welcome Chad? Welcome back, Anderson. Why did I, I completely forgot where to go. Is it this way? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's over here. Did you get lost, Anderson? Deputy, I want the body taken back to town for a proper examination, ASAP. Well, sure, but the coroner won't be back in town for another week after Deerfest. Not a problem. I'll do it myself. Oh, and Sheriff Breaker called to say he's got the bookers at the Oh Dear Diner in town. Oh, and I've got a key to the gate. It's a shortcut back to the parking lot just up the hill. I'll take that. Shortcut key. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. Can I do Let's get the car. Drive to Bright Falls and talk to these witnesses. I guess we'll do some of the, the body bookers. later. At the diner, right? I could use a cup of coffee. Diner. Let's try that shortcut the deputy mentioned. Sounds good. Does Rose still work at the diner? Can you imagine? Also, we haven't fought anything Seems like yet. a nice town so far. Murders aside. Pretty woods. Cute lodge we got set up in. We should go for a hike if we get a chance. Now you're just being mean, Anderson. Deputies aren't exactly up to the task, but hopefully the sheriff will be more helpful. Not a surprise about the deputies. Doubt they see much stuff this gruesome. I really cannot wait to meet the sheriff. <laughs> I literally cannot meet the... I, 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 they announced who the sheriff was. I, you'll see. I, I cannot wait. I literally cannot wait. This makes no sense. Nothing, literally nothing makes sense. Like, I, how are they going to connect everything? I don't know. I think I saw something. What the f- It'll only take a minute. I'll wait here. What is, like, what is this? There's another lunchbox. <laughs> We're all in this together, hero. Have a heroic day. What? <clears throat> Station 11. This is property of the FBC. <laughs> Dude, this is so freaking cool, man. Like, what the f There's just, like, FBC, like, structures. Just, like, what in the world? Looks on the store page. Looks like there's two story experiences. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't fit the clues. And one's called Lake yet. House. Yeah. Heart removed. Tripod. We'll find Tracks out. Tracks leading to a dead enough. end. A tripod for a camera to record a, a snuff film? Maybe. Uh, and why take oh. out his heart just to throw it away? To stuff in something for us to find. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, let's see. I guess we use this shortcut key, baby. Huge shortcuts. We still haven't reached a save point, which is concerning. 
He's going that way. I see papers over here. I'll look around. Have I read this? See you in a bit. Take your time. Oh, I have. This is the very. This was the very beginning. Okay, we're back at the very beginning now. Cool, cool, cool. Got it. Got it. Get back in the police. Here room. we are. Let's drive back to town and meet the sheriff at the diner. Here's the thing, though. I bet, like, other players, it might have been way faster for them. I just, I, I am just that guy where I have to go to, like, every single thing, you know? I can't help it. I can't get that manuscript no game out of my head. I've never seen killers reach out so directly before. Damn impressive work so far. This is so freaking cool. With your technique, these hunches were moving fast. These hunches? Okay. Okay. I wasn't sure about taking a case so far from home, but I'm thrilled to be here for this mystery. <laughs> is, that a, is that a thermos man? Need to swing by the lodge to get anything <laughs> from the field office? No, I'm all set. I'll park there anyway. I want to walk to the diner, get a feel for the Oh, town. this is so much like the first game. Just going to the diner immediately. That's really cute. God, this game looks good. <laughs> I can't with these. <laughs> the diner's just up the waterfront. Shouldn't keep the sheriff and our witnesses waiting. I smell coffee. Hell yeah. Bright Falls, Washington. Whoa, what do we got? We got, well, look at this. We got people everywhere. It's way more populated. Hello. Can I talk to you? <gasps> I'm going to go check something out. Dude. Be right back. Pa Pat's back. Just tuning in. You're listening to the Pat Main Radio. No way. He still runs the radio. Davis family moose jerky. And boy, what an eventful day here in Bright Falls. By now, we've all seen the FBI setting up shop in town. Dude, he still and runs sure the radio. You're all asking the same question I am. Did they bring all this darn rain with them? <laughs> Deer Fest is right around the corner, and we're all crossing our fingers for sunshine. So, I reached out to our top meteorologist for a weather update. She never responded. <laughs> but I have her uncle Tapio on the what? line from water. Tapio, are you there? Yes. Great. And Turn Tapio, up. what kind of weather can we expect today? Rain. Yeah, that <laughs> definitely seems to be on the menu. Rain. How about over the next week? Also rain. Right. Care to uh, elaborate? Any chance the sun will poke out in time for Deerfest? No. No. Well, Deer Fest is coming, rain or shine. Deer Fest and once that again. The parade lineup is looking dandy as ever. Yes, I like this parade because they're one floating the shape of a swan. Long neck and everything. <laughs> a very large swan. Ah, so you're a fan of swans? <laughs> no. <laughs> right. Well, time, we'll be right no. back after this next song by the rock and roll sensation. National Nightmare. National Nightmare. National Nightmare. Is that DMCA or is that made for the game? Unclear. Hello. You're not speaking. What is this, bro? Billy's Boatyard. Oh, there's a lot. Can't open this with my bare hands. Okay, you can literally get like a like a Resident Evil bolt cutter or something. Um kind of cool there's another one here it doesn't have a prompt on it though 
It's gonna rain. It's gonna rain. It's gonna be a lot of rain. Take care now. Person. Okay, you're not of interest if your name is Person. I keep moving. Welcome back, Anderson. Do the way he always says that. Historic Elderwood Palace Lodge of Bright Falls. Built in 1898, the building has been both in private and public use through the years and has barely stood the test of time. In 2015, it was carefully taken apart and re relocated here in downtown Bright Falls, where it was rebuilt into its original glory log, log by log. The Elderwood Palace Lodge um, reopened in Bright... F Wait. The Elderwood Palace Lodge reopened in Bright Falls in 2016 and has served its customers faithfully ever since? This isn't the Oceanic Hotel or whatever it's called. The Ocean View Hotel. So sleepy. No. Just a few more days. What the f Weird. Hello. This is odd. Private. I'll be back in a second. Roger. Rest easy, buddy. That's kind of cute. She's she likes she has respect for the animals. Like she doesn't I don't think she likes hunting like obviously not many do to be fair, but like, you know what I mean? She has respect for the animals. She's done that multiple times now. Whoa, this is like the same place that I did. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is the same place that we do the Mind Palace. What the hell? Oh, this is literally where we're staying. Oh, okay, I get it. This is where me and Casey are staying. And so... I get it. This is like literally where we are doing the detective work. And here's like the exit door. I can't get through this. Or I guess not. But I think that makes sense. Uh, going to the mine palace quickly. Yeah, it's the same. Same. It's absolutely the same. Absolutely the same room. It's slightly, maybe slightly altered, but, but maybe, yeah, maybe it changes depending on like where you and Casey are staying in the game or something. Don't know. can't force it open. Yeah, that's to get to that room. No one's really saying anything. None of the NPCs are like... Oh, Jesus. Guys, guys, this does look like the Ocean View Hotel. I'm not losing my mind, right? What? Like, it has like... I know it's a hotel kind of vibe, but like the multiple doors and stuff... Oh, jeez. Take care. Take care. There's a pool table in here. Well, Ocean View Hotel was in Control. And it was also in the AWE DLC as well. But, like, it's a place that kind of, like, accesses a bunch of locations. Whoa, I'm finding stuff. This is There's so much to explore in this game so far. My god. Ari Cauldron Lake, look into news and rumors, focus on 2010, and cross reference with old case files from NYC, cult similarities, commonalities, and mythology. Part of this must be my room, maybe. Part of series, find out name of good coffee from diner. Is that literally. Is this where I'm staying? Because it has the, the gun magazine stuff? I don't know. Can't open that. This has a please not disturb sign. It doesn't budge. Okay, dude. This is odd. Yeah, very odd. I'm getting out of here. Just Wait, a few what is this? More days. Oh, Bright Falls map. Whoa, we have a map of Bright Falls now? What? Oh my god. 
And then we have radios. The weather report. And it had, you can replay the music. That's cool. I like that you can replay the music and stuff. Um, flooded. Interesting. Hey, Peter Peel, what's up? Thank you. My last brain self. Hey there. Hello. Hello. Who? Who are you? I need to go. How much coffee have you had today, Charlie? Don't know. Don't care. How much have you had? Not enough. That's how much. Never <laughs> enough coffee. <laughs> oh, that rich, bittersweet nectar. Get it at Coffee World. <laughs> Get it where you can. Get it now. Jesus, Charlie. <laughs> I wish I could talk to you more. I, mean, I had a bunch of coffees. Yeah. Hey, how's it going? Hello. I think I saw something. It'll only take a minute. Always here. Where are you Any guys? interesting guests lately? Any good finds? Zilch. But someone left a gross surprise under their bed for housekeeping. They were nuts. So, that's what all that screaming was about? Either that, or the couple on their honeymoon. When you guys said nothing ever happens in this town, you weren't kidding. Not on the surface, at least. Or in the public eye. Okay, I'm gonna get back to that one later for sure. Weird. They like fully let you explore everywhere. Mayor Setter. Mayor Setter won't roll over on the issues. Okay. Mayor Setter. Mayor Setter. That's such an interesting name. Setter. Can we go in here. Damn it. They're all. They register, register for Deer Fest. So, how's that mystery business of yours going? We missed you at trivia night. You did. How badly? <laughs> Stop avoiding the question mark. This is so like off. Was he like a cheater? Is that what that was? Was he a ch was he cheating? Here's the thing, right? Like, should I even explore this stuff, or should I just go to where I'm supposed to go? I feel like maybe I should just go where I'm supposed to go, and I'm probably gonna end up exploring this stuff anyway later. I don't know. Like, the, I don't know how this game works yet. Um. Who is this? Why do you look sus? Why are you just over here by the trash can? Huh? Hello? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm just gonna go with. Let me guess. The FBI. Welcome to Bright Falls. <gasps> it's nice to have you here. You gotta be kidding me. He's here. He's here, chat. Jack Joyce, what are you doing in this video game? What are you doing, Sean Ashmore? Why are you the sheriff? Why are you the sheriff? Got you both some coffee. Stop. Well, it's Washington's finest. Nice to meet you, Sheriff. I'm set for coffee. You know, I wouldn't say no to another. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. This is Agent Alex Casey. Oh my God. Tim Brinker. <laughs> and let me just say, I'm happy you two are here. Frankly, we could use the help. Chat, I talked about this before on stream when they announced it, but I'll say it now since it happened now in the, in the playthrough today. His name is Tim Breaker. Tim Breaker.
time breaker. Like, are you kidding me? What are they doing? They don't even own the IP. They don't, they don't have the rights for Quantum Break. But they're still doing it. He's in, <laughs> I know it's not the same character. I get that. But they're still not afraid to like. That's weird, man. That's weird. Why are you doing that? Why, why is he in this game? Why did, would you get the same actor? Uh, also, last game, a sheriff was also Sarah Breaker. Yes, yeah, Sarah Breaker was the sheriff in the first game that helped out Alan a lot. So I'm curious of his relation to Sarah. Is he like, I don't know. I'm not sure. But like. Your deputy said you had a couple of witnesses here. They made them sound like I'm so suspects. happy to see him again, though. Mulligan and Thornton are still on about that? No, no, the bookers don't strike me as the murdering type, but you can decide for yourselves. They're just inside having coffee and pie to calm their nerves. I'll see what they have to say. Casey, you compare notes with the sheriff. I love this. Take your time. Dude, he looks so good with like a beard and everything. through the case files you sent over, Sheriff. Have you had many people besides the known victims go missing? Sure. But it's slowed down ever since Cauldron Lake was fenced off. Let me guess. Missing person cases spiked around 2010. The fence was built just after. Yeah, that's exactly right. Hmm. Mm. You can go ahead, Anderson. We'll be here. Okay. Dude, I so I can't believe that happened. I literally just I still feel like I'm gonna be sick. Come on, Ed. Have some pie. Oh, this is who saw them in the woods. Or saw Nightingale. I, I, there's so many things happening right now. I'm just shook. Why is there a, huh? Are you the bookers? Excuse me. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. Are you the bookers? That's us. I'm Tammy and he's Ed. Oh, officer. Just Saga is fine, Ed. So are we being charged with anything? Because if not, we'd love to get back to our hotel and decompress after what we saw. Take a bath, scream into pillows, that kind of thing. I feel that. We're not charging you. I just have a few questions. Nothing to stress about, okay? Why were you at Cauldron Lake? What were you doing at Cauldron Lake last night? I'm a writer. True crime. Mm. We're here from New York, doing some research on a famous novelist, Alan Wake, who went missing here. I was down at the lake, getting some details. <laughs> Perfectly legal. Uh... So what did you see in the woods? This naked dude came out of the lake, and he was acting crazy, shouting weird shit at us. He must have been on something. Unless skinny dipping at dawn is a thing around here. Then we heard shooting. We ran into these psychos in deer masks. They were tearing into the naked guy with knives, like some kind of satanic cult. Yikes. And then we bolted and called the cops. The NPCs look really good in this game, chat. I really like how they look. What makes you say it was a cult? <laughs> the masks and knives aren't enough. I mean, they were shouting, Cult of the tree. The cult of the tree. Oh. Cult of the tree. Cult of the tree. Oh. And then we found a... Oh. The whole thing was... Terrifying. Hey, yo. That's all. What was that? What was that effect? Oh, my God. Yo. The cult of the tree. The cult of the tree. What are the bookers telling me? I found their necklace. The symbol is two triangles. The cult wants their spruce tree back, Tammy. Finders keepers, Ed. My publisher will want this on the cover. Tammy found something. What the f A what? necklace belonging to one of the cultists. Oh. The bookers were at Cauldron Lake. What? Why? Once was built to hide what's there. They say the rider fell in the lake. Private party. No trespassing. My book has questions. 
past the bolt cutters. They broke in for the sake of Tammy's book. Nothing to do with a murder. They were telling the truth. This is so wild. So you found something there, right? A necklace these cultists may have dropped. Okay. Wow. How did you put that together? It's evidence. You need to hand it over. <laughs> yeah, she's got she's got powers, chat. She's got powers. Told you not to keep that thing to me. Oh, it's like a golden triangle. Thanks. This could prove to be helpful. <gasps> Do me a favor. Stick around town. For oh my God! It actually is Rose. <gasps> no way. Dream of missing dear oh God. Saga. Saga Anderson. As I live and breathe. I thought we'd never see you back here after that awful, awful thing happened to your baby girl. What? How are you? Um, I'm sorry. Who are you? What? I don't know what you're talking about. It's me, silly. Rose. You know me. I don't think I do. What? And what horrible thing happened to my baby girl? Oh, God. She drowned. <gasps> Your daughter. That's so weird. You don't remember. How do you know I have a daughter? Oh, I know what this is. You're blocking out your traumatic memories. Happens on TV all the time. No. You're mistaking me for someone else. <laughs> if you say so. What the hell are you on about, Rose? The music. Weird. How exactly do we know each other? So, Rose, help me out. How do you think we know each other? We all know each other around here. It's been a while, but I never forget a face. Or a coffee order. Guess I just have one of those faces. See anything strange around town? Seen anything out of the ordinary in town lately? Suspicious people in deer masks? No one's suspicious. But soon enough, there'll be lots of happy people wearing deer masks for deer fest. Practically everyone will be wearing one. Good to know. I'm scared. Like, she is terrifying right now. That's scary, dude. Practically everyone will be wearing one. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No, no. No, 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 no. I thought she was helping us with lunchboxes. Maybe I'm completely wrong about that. You know how touchy these rural types can be. The jukebox is out of order. The poor old thing can only take so much of the same same song being played over and over. <laughs> I remember this. I'm a big fan of Coconut as the next person, but come on. It's the only song that would play on it, dude. Oh my god. That's so funny. This is where everything started in the first game. Chat. Oh God. And remember uh, standing on the corner here was uh, Cynthia Weaver. Oh F this dude. <gasps> There's more to the... What the f... Rose is freaking me out guys. Teamwork makes the dream work. I feel bad for these guys. Okay, I'm turn I turned the audio down a little bit. What's up with the deer? Oh, dude, I'm... I need something to force this open. <sighs> oh, hell no. 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 
Nope. 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 It's way too late for this stuff, guys. Wet floor. Hell no, bro. No. I hate this. I hate this. Like, this game, the tension right now is unreal. Like, I... We have, we've been playing for two hours and, like, 30 minutes. We've yet to fight a single enemy, but I've actually been really scared a lot. It's not opening. Like... Dear God. It's like it's like they're playing with me. Like they know that I know that Barbara was there, there in the first game, and so they're just like, yeah, let's just freak him out. Like let's just really freak him out, you know? God dang. Rose is terrifying. Hello. All set. My guys have Nightingale at the morgue. If you're ready to go, take a look. Let's go. Well, okay, oh. see, I gotta leave. Okay, Jack Joyce. Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. The murder cult. Fuck. <laughs> have you heard of this cult of the tree, Sheriff? Only the urban legend. If you're in the woods at night, the cult will get you. That sort of thing. Hmm. We're not gonna find out you're the Grand Wizard or something, are we? I played some D&D back in the day. Wizard was always my favorite class. Morning, Sheriff. <laughs> Looks like you have some guests. Ah, uh, morning, Ted. Yeah, real important guests. Deerfest. Always draws a crowd, right? <laughs> Too true. More the merrier. Have a good one, Sheriff. <laughs> Do we know what happened to Barry after AW1? So what we know, we, what we know about Barry is that he went and... I believe he went to be become the agent for the um, Tor and uh, Odin, like the two like rock star band members from Old Gods of Asgard. He went to go be their agent for a while, um, but they then they used a lot of the money that they did or that they got from that to establish a nursing home for them, um, and it's called like the Valhalla Nursing Home, and. And so then he stopped being their agent, but he like helped them establish a nursing home because they were getting so old. And I think that's all we know. Hey, what do you know about that waitress from the diner? <laughs> Rose? Yeah, she's a bit of a space case. Always has been. Why? What'd she do now? She kept saying that my daughter drowned. She even knew my name. It was all very weird. Rose has a talent for saying the weirdest thing possible. Best not to take a person. That's sus. Hey, boss. Corpse is downstairs ready to go. Yep, in the morgue, all prepped. Also, chat, if they have Sean Ashmore in this game, I think, I think Jesse's going to be in this game. I think Courtney Hope's going to be in the game. I just like this feels like the like the all star game. You know what I mean? Like it just feels like this is it. Like this is what Remedy's been building to for so long. Like I feel like she's gonna show up either in a DLC or whatever. But like it'd be really cool if she shows up. Like I don't know, in, like a post credit scene kind of thing or something. I don't know. I'd like to take a closer but look as soon as possible. I, if Sean's in this, lead come the way, on. Sheriff. Come on. It's like they wanted Sean, to get everybody like involved. Station. Anything you need? Just uh. Let us know. We appreciate the support, Sheriff. Where, Have a nice day. Where is the old sh Sheriff? Like, what happened to Sarah? I don't know the answer to that. Because she was, like, the main... She was a supporting character. So we share a morgue with the funeral home next door. It's a shoestring budget. I guess you guys don't have that problem, though. Our only coroner rotates between a few other towns, and he's away this week. But you can handle this, right? I'm qualified to perform examinations. Yes. Oh, 
More bolt cutter things. Interesting. Something about morgues. They always cheer me up. What? What do you mean, bro? Can't use that. Something about morgues. They always cheer me up. Yo, you good? Yo, chill. Look, more batteries. Mm hmm. Finish Tango song by Audi had a reference to Quantum Break. There was there was a good like like they they referenced Quantum Break a bit in Control. It won't open. With some of the stuff that Dylan said too. Okay, let's take a look at our patient. Oh God. I'll start with the external inspection before performing the internal examination. No PP. What was the cause of death? What other clues can the body give me? There's writing on here. On the heart? Ew. Can't make it out. Writing? How'd they manage that? Ew, that's disgusting. The body shows signs of being submerged in water post-mortem. Uh. It doesn't add up. This looks like text. A tattoo? Nightingale didn't strike me as a tattoo guy. Defensive wounds. He put up a fight. God. Aha. Uh -huh. They did leave something inside his chest. Oh, that's gross. That's very gross. Let's go to the case board and, you know, examination of Nightingale. Time to see what Nightingale's body can tell us. Oh, God. Yep, yep, yep. Anything to learn from the body? Put that over there. Something was put in there. Let's just keep adding no. these. Wait, this doesn't work there? Huh? Oh, there's more things. Ritual writing. Here we go. Text is smudged. Looks inverted. Inverted. Heart can't have been marked before. I'm Let's before. freaking go. There's definitely something in his chest. Did the killers leave it there? Okay. We got more things. Oh yeah, the lunch. Okay. Hmm. Uh, yep, there's one. <laughs> All the lunch boxes. Uh, are they really for me? How do they know I knit? Or maybe just a coincidence. Oh, they know that you knit? That's kind of scary. We also have this. Uh, <clears throat> this looks like it goes somewhere, but killer profile. Oh, we're dealing with an organized group of killers, not a lone serial killer. Case closed. The cult of the tree is behind these murders. Okay. This case just became much more complicated. The cult of the tree. I'll need to start a new file. But it's my first cult case. Exciting. So now we have a new file. Background cases accumulate clues about broader ongoing topics. The cult of the tree. I need to know more about the cult huh. of the tree if I'm going to shut them down. Whoa. And this is all these things I've been finding, all the symbols and stuff. Got it. Oh. Okay. What kind of cult? Symbols. Cult symbols. Yep. Hmm. <laughs> 
Oh, psychology. Yeah, I'm just like adding a lot. There's a lot of equipment just to be laying around. How long have they been out here? If they're hiding their faces, they aren't established enough to operate openly. Connection to Deerfest. Jewelry can be used as a subtle indicator of membership, but this isn't subtle. A badge of pride. What's the purpose? Marking territory? A warning feels derivative like something out of a horror movie. Huh. This is cool, dude. I really like the, the board. It like helps you kind of understand the story. You know? Is the tree the witch's ladle? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think so. You gonna be able to stream a scary game? Halloween night? Are you busy out there? Uh, I'm not sure yet, to be honest. Whisper. I'm not sure. Okay, let, let's see what we can do. Oh god, here we go. No, don't show the no. Everybody, everybody, stay mature about this. What the hell? Same type of page we found at Cauldron Lake. Nightingale Hunted Saga. Didn't see what? It. The Taken could not see into bright light. Light hurt them, made them vulnerable. Nightingale had no heart, but here he was. Killing. Someone's created a fucked up fantasy about us. Hey, hold on. We found these kinds of pages. I didn't think they were relevant to this Back case. when we were trying to stop the end of time. I have them right here. Oh my god, he found more? Oh, what? No, 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 wait! What? Sheriff? What the hell? Sean Ash- Oh! Did, did my boy Jack Joyce just disappear? Didn't see her. Could not see into bright light. Stay in the light to avoid being detected by enemies. Okay. I need to get into the light. Oh my god. No. We heal in the light. Just like first game. Oh my god. We Whoa. Whoa. I cannot believe we're fighting like Nightingale right now. Safe havens will restore some of your health if you leave her attack from a safe haven while in combat. Uh, it will become temporarily unavailable. Oh God. oh God. They, you can't cheese it like the first game. I need the gun. I need the gun. Chat, I don't know what happened to Sean Ashmore. I.
This is the same lyrics as before, okay. This is Dude, also by the way, this is like such a remedy thing, like to always do this end of chapter thing. And it's like if you skip the the music. Like, you can't hang with us. You gotta listen to music, you know what I mean? Like, you gotta just, like, let it... You gotta let it come in. You gotta, you gotta vibe for a bit. Wow. Okay, I need to, I need to look at this clip. But I let me let me get to like a place where I can. I don't know if it. What happens when the song ends? Does it just end? It's like an end of the episode. Yeah. Like I shot him twice and he disappeared. Does it repeat? No, it does it once. Oh my God. He didn't have a heart, but he still got up. The page predicted all of it. It helped me fight him. Oh, oh, oh. He, he just disappeared. What the hell is going on here? We need to figure that out if we're going to do anything about it. Somehow we need to make sense of this. What happened to the sheriff? Right before things got crazy, Sheriff Breaker just <laughs> vanished. Maybe the sheriff knew more than he was letting on. Hmm. He seemed anxious, like he dreaded what was coming. <laughs> One more mystery. What? There is no rational explanation to what we just saw. I'd love to blame this on mass hallucination caused by inhaling volcanic gas, but we both know that's bullshit. <laughs> this was supernatural. Oh, I'm glad you weren't one to say it. <laughs> now we can figure out a way forward. I love how they're just like... Let's just get out of the way. It's a supernatural game. You know what I mean? Like, like every, what was it? Like, um, so many games will do that thing where it's like, what's the horror story? And it turns out to be like, there was this crazy gas. That <laughs> the victim of a ritualistic murder turns into a monster. Is there a connection? Looks to me like the cult of the tree is performing rituals to create monsters. Hmm, maybe. We need to start with learning this cult's goal, their purpose. Oh my God. Okay, chat, I'm gonna really quickly unplug my HDMI and we're gonna evaluate this clip. Hold on. Maybe this is metagaming. It could be considered metagaming. It could be. It could be considered metagaming. But if you guys are right, this is insane. I, you guys are saying, okay, so you guys said, like, who is Mr. Door, right? We have not met Mr. Door in this game, but there is a character that has been in all the marketing for this game um, called Mr. Door. And here's what's freaking weird, right? There was a character in Quantum Break called Martin Hatch, very similar to Door, Hatch, Door, played by Lance Reddick. Um, Rest in peace. I wish Lance Reddick was still with us. Low key. Sorry. Sorry. I'm going to spoil things a little bit. Low key. The villain of like the whole game. Like low key. A very, very cryptic villain of the game that had a lot of unanswered questions. Like there was multiple villains in the game, but like he was one that was like, I want to know more about you. You are so interesting, and they clearly wanted to do more with the character in like a sequel, but they just never got to that. Another long-awaited game. Well, I hope you enjoy. Hell yeah, dude. Well, well, let uh, Melodias, thank you so much. Thank you for the ten months. I appreciate it. Um, but like, basically, in the marketing for this game, they said that there's a character in this game called Mr. Door, and in Control. Dude, again, this is so like I I knew this playthrough would be like sorry I just spit everywhere. I knew this playthrough would be very like deep cut. Us talking about stuff like this, but it really is. In 
control, there was like a scene, right? Um, low key, I can just play the scene right now. Um, let's see, uh, control, um, what was the scene? Was it this? It was this. Maybe I'm just here to punish. Um, can you guys? Sorry, I'm spoiling a little bit of things of control though. Um, but it's fine. I I don't think anybody will even understand what the hell I'm talking about. Um There was a scene, I've showed this before on stream. Any new dreams you'd like to share, Dylan? This isn't control. This is like 2018, 2019. I'm glad you asked, sister. This dream, like all dreams now, felt very real. Like reality. And reality now feels like a dream. Maybe it's all a dream. Maybe it's all real. Dream where my brother endlessly tells me about his dreams. I was in a dark place. And there was a dark man there. His name was Mr. Door. And he told me that there are many worlds. Side by side, on top of each other. Some inside of others. In one world, there was a writer who wrote a story about a cop. In another world, the cop was real. <laughs> Dor said he himself was in all of them at the same time, endlessly shifting between them. What? I asked him how I could reach these worlds. I wanted to bring the hiss there. That's a control thing. But he didn't want to help me. He didn't like the idea. What so, did he know? Okay, so... Again, deep cut, deep cut, deep cut about quantum break and stuff. I'm spoiling a lot of stuff. In quantum break, there is a term used all the time throughout the game towards the back end. There is a term called shifter that is used a lot. And it basically, they kind of hint at the idea that there's these like weird creatures or there's something that happens to somebody when they exist outside of time. I, I know, it's, it's, it's wild. It's really scary to think about, though, because there's really moments in Quantum Break where you fight. You kind of, like, are running away from said shifter. And basically, low-key, it's kind of like a thing that Martin Hatch in that game, which was played by Lance Reddick, was... Uh, a, a character like or it was kind of like revealed that he was a shifter and so when i heard this quote in control basically like i played quantum break the first remedy game i ever played right didn't play alan wake yet didn't play control yet i play that game and i'm like oh this game is crazy and it has all this like cool story stuff and it's all this like cool time stuff and time powers and oh my god there's these like monsters that exist outside of time like what that's so freaking cool that's really scary and kind of weirdly existential and there's this like character played by Lance Reddick that is like absolutely so ominous and he clearly shows up in places he's not supposed to he clearly gets like revived at times when he's not supposed to and then the game like slowly if you pay attention to it literally lets you kind of know Hey, this guy is a monster, technically. He's secretly a monster, secretly a thing called a shifter. This game, Control, when, when you just talk with side conversations with your brother, he no. literally says, he doesn't say Hatch. In Quantum Break, the character is called Hatch, Martin Hatch. They don't own the rights to Quantum Break anymore. Remedy doesn't own the rights to it. Microsoft does. Um, I'm pretty sure. So they can't legally say the name of the character, but they're clearly talking about the character in Quantum Break they're here. Who wrote a story about a cop. Right? And same thing with, like, the story about a cop, which is them talking about Max Payne, right? In another world, um, the cop was real. But 
he goes, Dor said. He said, Dor said, so Hatch said he himself was in all of the worlds at the same time, endlessly shifting between he them. himself was in all of them at the same time. And so when they said that, when they said shifting, I was like, 100%, I know what you're telling me. That is the same character. You were describing some form of the same character from Quantum Break in, time. in a way that isn't fully saying the same character name, but I know what you're talking about. Endlessly shifting between them. Which is really weird because it's like weirdly answering some questions in a weird way and giving me more like even more questions about who Hatch was in the, in the first game. I asked um, him how I could reach these worlds. I wanted to bring the hiss. So from my understanding from playing Control, I've always thought like, okay, Martin Hatch is going to come back at some point and this guy exists this creature exists somehow and shifts between all these different universes don't know i don't even know where like how to even explain what the hell i'm talking about it's just there's something about that right fast forward to 2023 and the marketing for this game there is a character hasn't showed up in the game yet but there's a character in alan wake 2 called mr door the same thing that Dylan's saying in Control. So clearly, the Mr. Door thing is definitely continuing. Um, not played by Lance Reddick, though. Um, but I don't think they were going to bring Lance Reddick back. I'm not sure. Um, maybe they were. But it's not played by Lance Reddick. Um, but the character literally in the marketing like looks very much like him. Like, has the same suit sort of vibe and everything. Like, just... It's bizarre. It's really, really bizarre. Um, so, yeah, it's like it's like they don't own the rights to like Max Payne, and or they might they might own the right. I don't know if they what their thing is with Max Payne now, but with Quantum Break, they don't own the rights to it, but they are replacing the name with Door instead of Hatch. Um, and maybe it's the same character. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's a doppelganger of the same character somehow. I don't know. He even says in this thing that the cop was real in another world, which is happening in Alan Wake 2. Like, the cop is becoming real, right? Um, and also, I guess it was real in the Max Payne games, right? So, I, I don't know. Basically, long story short, this has been a question I've had for a while, and you guys are saying, like, um, like, when I, like, when I literally type in, like, Like, again, like this, this is Martin Hatch and Quantum Break. The lighting here is kind of sucky, but this is Lily, it's Lily Lance Reddick, right? That's what he looks like. He's, you know, he's wearing that suit. He shows up multiple times. He's very ominous. He uses eye drops to contain something going on. Um... You know, they had like more of the TV show thing too. So he literally was in live action as well, right? Lance was tremendous in that role. And you guys are saying that when Sean Ashmore just disappeared, that y'all saw Mr. Door, the new form of Martin Hatch, which is the most deep cut thing I've ever heard. And if I see, if I see that in this chat, found these kinds of pages i didn't think they were and also to his character like that's like basically like the villain of jack in quantum breaks like they they they're like connected in quantum break in a lot of ways to this back case, when we were trying to stop the end of time see i was making a joke saying so I mean, right oh my god he found more Oh my god, they're actually doing it. Bro, they're actually doing it. This is insane. What? This is insane. Are you kidding me? No, 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 wait. There's no way. 
dude, Quantum Break is connected. How can anyone look at this and say Quantum Break isn't connected? How can anyone play this and say Quantum Break isn't connected anymore? I know they don't own the rights to it, but this is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. Are you kidding me? Um, who's the new actor though, chat? I forgot. I forgot who they, they got for the role. I forgot the actor's name. That is crazy though. Obviously, same vibe. I'm gonna lose my I'm gonna lose my mind when we meet him in this game. But especially if they're doing that with Sean Ashmore's character and they flash him on the screen right when Sean Ashmore disappears. 100% it's connected to Quantum Break. David Harewood? Oh, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. David Harewood was in Supergirl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where I recognize him from. British actor. Oh, my God, bro. <laughs> I cannot believe it. I, the way he said, no, 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 wait. No, 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 wait. What? Bro. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I can't. I have so many theories right now. I have so many theories right now. Oh my god. I can't. I I l Guys. 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 I I Guys. Hey, what's up people? No, I don't want this. I don't want I don't want commentary. Guys. Can I show an ending scene from Quantum Break? Do you guys care? <laughs> Can I show an ending scene from Quantum Break? Does anyone care? <laughs> I'm not showing like the full thing, the full ending. I'm just showing like it's a bit of it. We're like, this is crazy. Guys, okay. The last, the last, literally, literally the last scene of Quantum Break after you've like done everything you've done. There's still some unanswered questions. You walk out into the hallway, right? Mr. Joyce. Right? Finally. Thought you wanted to talk, not get my life story. Well, you were at the heart of all of this. And you can understand our need to find out exactly what happened. I heard it's all being pinned on Paul. It's quite the feat. Paul Serene always danced to his own team, you know that. He and his delusions did tremendous damage to Monarch. But we can still salvage this company. We could use a man like you. It's not the same Monarch you know, Mr. Joyce. Your exceptional qualities are obvious, and we both know you have certain needs our expertise could help with. We can help each other. The, vi the last scene is like a visual cue showing that Hatch and Sean, or J Jack, potentially work together in some fashion. This is crazy. This is crazy. Like the last scene literally shows like it shows Hatch like holding Jack's like back similar to Paul in the game. And also again, remember it shows this right when you see him, you see this thing. 
Mr. Joyce. <laughs> Bro, I can't. Mr. I... Joyce. What are they doing? What are they doing? That, like, um, I have them right here. Oh my god, he found like me. that. Like it was basically a cliffhanger. Or? Like, like I have like some wild theories. Like, did did Jack somehow like, dude? There's no way though. They would not go that far, would they? What? I. I can't. I. There's no way they'd go that far. There's no way he's actually Jack Joyce, right? <laughs> There's no way he like hopped a dimension, right? There's no way it's like that. Am I going insane? Like, like, how did he know it was about to? I don't know. That's why I'm like confused. It's like he, it's like he's been, it's like they're working together or something. Or like he knows from, dude, I don't know. I don't know, man. I literally don't. Maybe he just read the manuscript and the manuscript said he was about to disappear. Maybe it doesn't matter. But you know what, chat? It's weird, okay? It's freaking weird. Do you see, like, regardless if it doesn't fully connect, even if it doesn't fully connect, they are doing this on purpose to make me freak out, right? Like, I don't think there's any doubt that they're doing this, like, it's it's not coincidence. Like, they are literally throwing things. That was a Quantum Break fan moment that they just threw in for no reason, or for a reason. And I don't know what it exactly means yet. It's 1.44 a.m. on the floor. I, These pages are important. Breaker dropped one before he disappeared. Why is it? <laughs> well, so where is the other sheriff? Where is Sarah? Where, where's the pages? Saga was back at Cauldron Lake. Saga had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap. Finding a way in would be difficult. A ritual. Saga would learn how. Stop the monster. Oh my god. So I can fully read. Yeah. Saga fights Nightingale. The autopsy room was a mess. Like a bomb had gone off. Nightingale hunted Saga. Didn't see her under the light. Lurched past her. The Taken could not see into bright light. The light hurt them. Hurt the darkness in them. Made them vulnerable. I flick the switch. It goes click. Show me the clicker. Lights are off, but somebody's home. Hemingway brought you here, witch. Get out of my house, Nightingale shouted. A wave of terror crashed through Saga's head. The awful truth. Nightingale had no heart in his chest, <coughs> but here he was, killing a monster. The world had lurched out of balance. You found yourself trapped on the far side of the mirror. Jesus. Also said Hemingway brought you here, which, so I mean, and he would always call Alan Hemingway in the last game. So Alan definitely brought Saga, Saga here. was back at Cauldron Lake. He was there too. Nightingale was, but wasn't a taken, a creature of darkness. He was beyond her reach, where some other strange reality, the dark place, merged with ours. This place in the dark place, a tarp thrown over top, drowning everything beneath it, a flood of darkness. Soaking into everything, spoiling it, rotting it. The page called this area an overlap. Saga had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap. Finding a way in would be difficult. Required precise steps, a ritual. Saga would learn how. Stop the monster before he killed again. Her job, he'd be inside, waiting for her. This is amazing. This is so cool. So the, that page is already explaining where we're going to go next. 
to the overlap. If Alan stopped writing, is he screwed? I mean, in some ways, yeah. Like, his writing is what is doing it. If only the rest of the Bureau knew what a softy Casey is. <laughs> oh, my God. Nine remaining. Nine remaining? Oh, wait. Nine remaining. The deer is talking. Miss you, kiddo. I'll be home soon. Nine remaining? The hell? I, they, they're letting me, like, look at all this now. My first step of prank on Casey. What? A true classic. <laughs> what? Radio. Oh, this is a... Okay, yeah, you... Oh, it'd be cool if you could play it and walk around here. That'd be kind of sick. Can you? Oh, no, you can't. That'd be cool, though. Mayor Setter won't roll over on the issues. So we can find more things. Wild Valley. Okay. Where's... Anything else? Might be. That might be it. If you're stuck or unsure how to proceed, don't forget to check the mind palace. Okay. Okay. That was her kid. Yeah. The kid that Rose said drowned, which is terrifying. It doesn't budge. Dear God. Hello. Huh? Maybe there is something I can do. Figure out where Nighting Nightingale went. Maybe I go back here. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. Oh. Nope. Oh my god. I keep forgetting that I'm like trading out ones. Um Nightingale attacked us. A dead man turned into a monster. Light as a way to fight him. Pages predicting the future. There's no rational explanation. This is the case we must solve. Any bugs yet, JC? Uh, I, I haven't really experienced any crazy bug, no. Not really. What's up, Trovi? Hello. Hello. Um. <laughs> Saga had a pursuit and I didn't get into the overlap. Okay. That there? All right, exit out of that. The page places Nightingale back at Cauldron Lake. Calls him a Taken. We need to head over there, stop him, before anyone else gets hurt. Okay. This is really cool. Oh. We, we heard gunshots. Y'all okay? Did you get spooked by the bodies? Sheriff Breaker disappeared. Nightingale turned into some <laughs> sort of a monster, and there are offices down. You two handle things here. We need oh to get back to Cold Lake immediately. Fuck me. That's terrible. We'll do what we can. These guys are so dead later. Like, I just, I just feel the vibe that they're so dead. Let's get caught on Steam. I don't know. I mean, Epic, Epic, like, did fund them a lot. Heart was missing. So I don't know. How could he do anything? He's dead. Yeah, right. Well, that's all crazy talk. Monsters aren't real. And <laughs> what do you mean the, the sheriff disappeared? <laughs> Oh, they're losing their minds in there. They're fully losing their minds. Monsters aren't real, and magic's definitely not. <laughs> mm, 
They're a fine pair. It's so weird that it's like just normal up here. Oh dear, I am a tourist, and it appears that I'm lost in the woods. The hell? It only had a tour guide, also. Bear season. Mm. <laughs> oh no, a bear. <laughs> what? Help. <laughs> Did somebody call for a tour guide? Oh wow. <laughs> Koskala Brothers Adventure Tours. <laughs> Unforgettable tour experiences at affordable prices. That's right. I'm Ilmo Koskala, voted best coffee roaster slash tour guide by Coffee World Magazine. And I'm here to give you the tour of a lifetime. But Ilmo, I've heard the government has seized and restricted <laughs> access to many local nature attractions. That is true, Yanko. Many local attractions have recently become fenced off Thank by you, the Thank you, Federal Bureau of Control. At Coscala Brothers Adventure Tours, we say, fuck the government. <laughs> we have both cutters. Oh, wow. You think of everything. And Wait, is that how I get bolt anywhere. cutters? Hiking through the scenic Elderwood National Wait, Park. Wait, I need the bolt cutters. <laughs> fishing in the crystal clear waters of Bright Falls Dam. Bird watching at Majestic Mirror Peak. <laughs> Tour of a lifetime is just one phone call away. Book now to get a 9% discount on this limited edition Oh Dear <laughs> Diner Coffee Thermo. <laughs> what? Oh, God. Hello, who are you? What's that? More, more medicine. Okay. Whiteboard. Anything interesting on the whiteboard? Oh, there normally is in these games. Not yet. Not yet. Oh, hello. Why are you in here? Okay. Do we go back outside? Take it easy. My client has been held here long enough. Are you going to let me speak to them or not? Uh, just a moment, ma'am. Someone will be right with you. What? How many times do we have to do this, Walter? Huh? I'm at my wits end with you. What's going on? Do you think I like throwing you in jail every other day? What's Walter doing? No, I don't. Do you have any idea how much paperwork you're causing me? What's well, a lot? I want out! Something bad's going down! I can feel it! Let me out! Oh, God. Stuff. I. It, you can sit here and stew for a while. Think about your life choices, buddy. It's not opening. I know one of you is stealing the toilet paper. I've been counting them, and there's an entire roll missing every day from the stock. Theft is taken seriously around here. It's a sheriff's station, for Pete's sake. One of these days, they're going to catch you red handed, and you better believe you're getting thrown out. What a disgrace you are. What kind of nut, nut counts toilet paper rolls? Sounds like you got too much time on your hands. <laughs> Someone like wrote a note back. Okay. I guess we go back outside. Nightingale and his cult are dangerous. We need to be prepared in case things escalate more than they already have. Can you call it in, Casey? A smart choice, Anderson. Who are we calling into? The a Agent Casey here. Yeah. We need backup. The Bright Falls case. Whoever you can spare. ASAP. Hey, uh, can you send Jesse Faden? I don't know if actually <laughs> find Nightingale at the lake. The pages haven't been wrong yet. We can't assume the person writing these pages isn't playing us. I agree. But it's our best lead. No spy streams? Not yet. I'm going to play it at some point this year, though, I think. Uh, what's up, XS? Uh, this is, I'm on PS5 right now, but it definitely is on PC as well. I think it's on everything. But, but, dude, glad to see you here. Glad you like the Persona VODs. Should have a full highlight of Arc 2. Hopefully coming pretty soon this weekend. Um, where the hell do we go? The car can be used to travel between locations. 
But I left the car, did I not? Or is it this? Oh, it's this car. Clock out, get a beer. Or maybe three. I need to come clean, Anderson. I know why Nightingale was here 13 years ago. What? He was chasing a writer, Alan Wake. Tammy mentioned him. She's writing a book on his disappearance. You know the detective character from his books, Alex Casey. Yeah, I've heard the jokes at the office. Cold Case Casey. Murder Case Casey. <laughs> Sorry. Ha uh, ha. Uh, the same name, similar job. It's the first thing anyone thinks of. It annoyed me, but that was it. Then, ten years ago, I started getting strange letters in the mail. Fragments of prose describing murders. You've heard the stories about what happened in New York. Some of it, at least. Bodies started to pile up. It was a murder cult. In New York. Turns out the fragments sent to me were from the crime books of Alan Wake. The cult was copycatting the murders from the books. In their heads, they were performing a ritual to bring Wake back. What? Their imagined prophet. What? After that case, I started looking into Wake's disappearance on the side. And you thought this case might be connected to him? His name does keep popping up. I just wanted you to have all the facts. Next time, give them to me before we find ourselves in the middle of a horror story. That's really interesting. It's kind of sad that Alex Casey doesn't quite realize that he is definitely created from Alan. Like, that's going to hit him at some point, which is going to be so interesting. The heart. I mean, that definitely means... The lake. The page maybe? says Nightingale's in something called an overlap. Need to figure out exactly what that means. I'm happy I'm not in charge of this mess. Thanks. This is so cool. Let's start looking for Nightingale where it was killed. Great. This area is supposed to be close to the uh, public. Can I grab a map. Okay, I can't. Oh my god. So I'm over here. We're back at Cauldron Lake again. Okay, okay, got it. So the writer of these pages knows what will happen. Because they're behind this? Or because they can see what's coming? Impossible things are happening here. A world operating on different rules. I need to understand this strange logic. To see the clues. To solve the case. How the hell do I save the video game, by the way? <laughs> We've yet to do that. <gasps> yeah, I'm playing on performance mode, yeah. I've been thinking more about the cult of the tree. What sort of cult refers to themselves as a cult? <laughs> In my experience, they don't. We're not seeing the full picture yet. Hey, hello there. How are you folks doing? Wait. Those restricted area signs don't do it. Is that the guy from the TV show thing we just watched? Damn thing, huh? Hello. Saga Anderson. Are you two supposed to be here? I'm Ilmo Koskela. Fantastic to meet you. And yes, it is. Stephen here hired me to show him through the woods. He's in town on important government business. Fixing this impressive piece of hardware. I work for the FBC, ma'am. Oh. I'm authorized to be here. And I bet you two are here about that murder. Nasty stuff. How's it going? <laughs> What's this machine? What is this thing? It's just a monitoring station, ma'am. The Federal Bureau of Control checks volcanic activity and air toxicity levels. No need to worry, though. It's mostly for research purposes. That's one gorgeous right. writer saga. <laughs> Looks Nordic. I bet a family member made it. My mother made this My sweater. mother made this sweater for me. How do you know? I knew it. My mom used to knit those sweaters for me and my brother. 
Watery. My hometown was founded by Finnish immigrants. That's cool. So between your name and the sweater, I figured your family might be from Finland too. Suomi, Finland. Ulla, Karjalan <laughs> Klaus, my mom's family is from Sweden originally. I don't know much about them beyond that. The sweater is just something to remember her by. Stephen, we're investigating a murder that occurred nearby. What can you tell me about your bureau? Nothing that isn't classified, I'm afraid. But I don't know anything about a murder. Operations here are run by a different department. I'm just here to make some repairs. The wiring on this thing frays every couple months. Yep, that's the raccoons. <laughs> they grow real big here with teeth this like... This is so wild. Leave. Can not run through a garbage can. How did you hear about the murder, Ilmo? Do you know anything that could help us? People tend to tell me things. The Koskala brothers are kind of a household name around here. Speaking of, uh, if you're looking for some fun, stop by Watery. Just down the road from Bright Falls, there's our Coffee World Amusement <laughs> Park. There's Sauna, Sauna ja Vihta. <laughs> and we offer a variety of guided tours, hunting, fishing, hiking, whatever strikes your fancy. You name it, we probably got it. So cool. Well, I need to get back to it. Guys, I'm just going to say, I noticed that his hat says Ama on it. Remember that thing yeah, this? that I said? What'd you find there, Stephen? Uh, nothing. Uh, just something that shouldn't be here. Raccoons my ass. What's the AMA thing? I still don't understand that. Finishing his AMA, yeah. I think I already read this, let's see. We're all in this together here. Yeah, I already had this. Oh dang, I could have literally found this stuff. <laughs> Guys, I made the intro take so much longer. I could have found this stuff on I'd be happy to get you my playthrough. Whoa, this is open now. Just say the word. I'm a beer. What the hell is this? Clear signs of tampering. Signal was rerouted into a transmitter that is not one of ours. I fixed it so any alerts will come our way, but it's definitely concerning. I'll make a report for the investigation department. Leaving this here in case I'm not the next person to fix this thing. If you're reading this, check for tampering. We may want to put more secure metal casing around this whole thing so that the raccoons can't get to it anymore. Stephen Lynn, chief technician. Give me more. I want to know more about FBC. Even though I already played all of control, I just, I just, I want to know more. Like, I'm so curious. This is very cool. Let's get to the murder site, Casey. Yo, don't we got work, work tomorrow? Yeah, 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 yeah. I go until I, I probably, I don't have much more in me, chat, I will say. A lot of things about this case keep bothering me. We'll play a little bit long, just a little bit. But one thing feels really off. Breaker's disappearance. I don't get the feeling Nightingale was responsible. Hmm, he was about to give you more of those pages. Something didn't want us to have them? Or was protecting him from Nightingale? Spontaneous combustion? I don't know. I, not the kind of disappearance we normally solve. Something didn't want us to see the pages. Mr. Door did not want us to see the pages. What the hell is going on? Our crime scene's drowning. I never minded rain. Feels like home. No sign of a nightingale. But the page did place him at Cauldron Lake in an overlap. So how do we follow him there? Maybe something around here will tell us. After we find Nightingale, what then? I've never arrested a monster. I've watched you arrest plenty of monsters, Anderson. You know what I mean. Monster monsters. Light worked against him at the morgue. That might be the only way to stop him from hurting mm. anyone else. Monsters? Overlaps? Rituals? What do you make of all of this? Hmm. The killers are usually the ones performing the ritual, not the detective. 
acting out their sick fantasy. They may be trying to get you involved, forcing you into their twisted world. But with dead men coming alive, the word ritual starts to have more weight behind it. We need to look around, learn what this ritual is. I'm so freaking like We've seen excited this symbol for this game. before. Hmm. Good eye. Two triangles overlapping. True. It does kind of give off that vibe. Maybe it means like two worlds overlapping. I mean, I'm wondering how they, how they, yeah. Wonder what's inside. Confused. Follow these steps. I should take a look around for a way to open this thing. Wash your a locked box. Wash your hands. Take, Is that the cult of the tree symbol on it? Oh, it does have that. Wash hands. Take chicken out of fridge. Take a nap. Oh my God! There's literally a code. Oh my God! Oh my God! You remember when I was looking at the symbols? Follow these steps. Wash hands. Take chicken out of fridge. Take a nap. So sink, fridge, bed. Where's sink? That's the sink. Is it that? Where's fridge? That's fridge. Okay, those like overlap. Where's bed? Oh no, this, that might be sink. Like bathroom sink. Like a, like a diagonal thing. Bed is in here. Okay, so bed is horizontal, fridge is vertical, and those are like diagonal. Oh my God, chat, did I really? I cannot believe this. If this is actually what I think it is. I was doing this. Okay, it says, wash your hands, take the chicken out of the fridge, take a nap. So wash your hands is diagonal, like that. Um, take the chicken out of the fridge is vertical. And the last one is horizontal. I think it's just that. Is it not? Oh, it's that. Oh my god. Notes and ammo. Discover one cult stash like and one tools bar. of the trade. Jesus chat. I literally was solving that before I ever even got <sighs> Okay, anyways. Don't take anything if you aren't one of those trees. Don't take anything if you aren't one of the trees. Got it. If you're not part of the cult. Cool. I just got like more bandages and stuff. It's behind my face cam. Um That's awesome. So there's definitely some locked things that we can find. Winter is here to say hello to me, chat. Um, this is definitely, it's both. It's a horror and detective mystery game. It's both. We haven't gotten to a lot of the horror gameplay yet, but it's definitely coming. We had some moments. It's been a lot of tension building so far. The first game was all like, kind of like action thriller. Hi, Winter. How are you doing? Hello. Hello, Winter. Um... So you can play the ads now, that's cool. So I can go to cult stashes. Hey Winter, what's up? Don't scratch me, please. These stashes could contain clues about the cult. Okay. Better keep an eye out for more. Cult of the tree. Hey Winter. Come on. Um, symbols. Yep. There we go. Victim of cult killing became a monster. <laughs> there? No. No. What? Hmm. Keep trying. Something down here. Cult goal. Ah. 
cult ritual, what is it? Dude, oh my gosh, so much. Nightingale's the only victim to become a monster, why? Writing part of ritual. Hmm. Where's this go? Who's involved? No, no. This goes somewhere. Chat, where does it go? Cult goal. <sighs> oh, there we go. It is part of the cult goal. I wouldn't believe that. See, my, with my own eyes, I need to dig into this. There must be an explanation. Okay. I think there's still another another thing. Oh, cult stashes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. How do I save? <laughs> Chat, where the f <laughs> Like, even if I wanted to stop, how do I save the video game? Oh my god. I think I go this way. I hope this game has an AW concert stage or control hallway mission. I think it will. I think it definitely will at some point. I... It wouldn't be a Remedy game if they didn't do it. Oh god, there's a light there. Guys. Where did Alex go? go back to the murder site. Well, I can take out my pistol now, which is very terrifying. Uh, hey, uh, Logan's birthday is coming up. <clears throat> I, I need toy ideas. Toys. <laughs> She's 14, KC. Okay. So, what do I get her? Get her a book. Something weird and dark. Maybe that'll get her back into reading. Interesting. Bare feet. Nightingale. I'll see where these footprints lead. Okay. Can you come through the crime scene one more time, KC? Just in case. Uh-oh. If anything comes up, I'll radio you. Oh, no. Oh, Jesus, guys. 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 What the hell? lead into the water. Where'd you go from here? Nope. Nope. 
Winter, Winter, you can't be doing that to me. You literally cannot be like tapping me. It's terrifying, Winter. Oh, Jesus! I can feel something. A presence. Nightingale isn't far. Stop. Stop, bro. Stop. Winter. No. No. Guys. Yeah, that's right. Get the ammo. Why do I have a mind palace thing? Why do I have a mind palace thing? What? The overlap. I know Nightingale is somewhere around Cauldron Lake. The tree was a threshold. This place and the dark place. <laughs> You're in over your head. Next stop, Caldera Street Station. The threshold, like a doorway leading to Nightingale. It's somehow connected to a tree, which is ladle. We found that at the very start, chat. That weird tree. It's a threshold, a gateway. Brother. Brother. What? No, F off. F off. F off, dude. It's too late for this. The tree is a place of power. How is it's gotta be related to the lake too? Oh, bro. I F off. I No. No. Nope. What is that? <gasps> Seems like it's reacting to the light. Oh my god. This is so weird that we found this earlier. Guys. Guys. These aren't the same tracks that were here before. They're headed into the tree, not out of it. Guys. Tower flashlight boost R1. Oh my god, it's a different button now. Oh, that's so interesting. What? My flashlight burned the dark stuff away. It was covering another page. <gasps> what? The fuse was in place. Saga stepped into the witch's hut. Inside, a bright light. There were objects that stood out to Saga. As if the light had manifested them. The witch's hut. Okay. I trust the pages to lead me to the overlap. No. 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 Not that place, chat. No. 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 <laughs> chat. I was so scared. Of that place, bro. Well, let me read this. The fuse was in place. She found it among the junk in the forest. Saga stepped inside the witch's hut. Something rushed through her. A presence. Familiar. She couldn't quite what? place it. Something long forgotten. What? She tried to hold on to it, but it was already gone. Inside, a bright light. Saga felt safe, like nothing could hurt her here. There were objects that stood out to Saga as if the light had manifested them, pulled them from the darkness. A shift in reality, heavy with hidden meanings. A coffee thermos, <laughs> a shoebox, a mop and a bucket, a poster on the wall, and in the cabinet, another manuscript page. Safe haven. I. Wait, the hut is a safe haven? But I was terrified.
Oh, F me, dude. Uh-uh. Nope. 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 No. Bro, I don't even know where it is on the map. I don't even remember. Oh my god, it's up there. I'm running for my life. Remedy, what are you doing? What are you doing? This is the witch's hut. Nope. Once again. I'm just gonna can I make can I make the audio different? I'm scared. Guess not, chat. Um off why like why though the page described the hut being lit Mentioned a fuse. Hey, that's crazy. This place is wooden. Um. That's, that's crazy, bro. Um, anyway. Anderson. Thought I saw something in the woods. Probably just a deer, but I'm gonna check it out. Nope. Okay. I found another page. Oh, God. Following up on a lead. Keep checking in. Roger. The fuse box is missing a fuse. I need to find one to turn on the lights. Knowing this game, it's over here. This fuse is busted. Oh. 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 Okay. Okay. Okay, chat. It's busted. It's busted. Okay. Dude, what are these noises? What are these noises? Bro. I've already I've already picked up these things, right? Where would a fuse be? Right here? This one looks good. People should really stop littering, though.
Bro, this is so terrifying. I... I I'm getting inside right now. Oh my god. Coffee thermos. Discover a break room. Oh, thank god. Oh, thank god. Quick save, manual save. We did it, chat. We literally did it. Manual save. Oh. Oh my god. Three hours have been played already. It's a coffee. The save is a coffee thermos. <laughs> of course. Why wouldn't it be? Another page. Oh. Making progress. The image of the witch in the sign. Saga addressed the witch. The smudged line on the heart. The second part recited from memory. I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. Saga pushed the heart through the hole in the sign. Oh my god, what a reference to the original game if we do that. That's crazy. Witch's ladle, towering over Saga, watching her and the witch. The image of the witch in the sign. Nightingale's heart, a cold, dead lump in her hand. Her definition of sanity had changed since she arrived in this town. But she trusted the pages, was forced to. Saga addressed the witch. She squinted to read the first part of the ritual words, the smudged line on the heart. The second part recited from memory, the words she had read on the page. I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. Saga pushed the heart through the hole in the sign. This was the key. The tree was the threshold. What the f... What? Are you on about? Huge, huge quick save. I use his heart on the sign. Don't need to go over all this again. I guess I already found all this. That's kind of cool. Like, if you already figured it out. The page from the witch's hut seems to be describing some kind of ritual. What is the ritual? Words on the heart. <laughs> to get into the overlap... I need to find Nightingale's heart. Read the line imprinted on it, plus the line on the page to the witch's ladle sign. Then push the heart through the hole in the sign. What is happening? What Nightingale's is heart disappeared from the morgue. Where is it now? Oh, God. Give witch heart recite words. Witch equals witch's ladle. Where is heart? Hey, Nightingale. Where's your heart at, bro? I need Nightingale's heart to get to the overlap. Where is it? The cultist leaned close. He was there, but he was risen. Nightingale was there. The opposite of sunspots. Who said that? That's not it. I don't have what I need to find Nightingale's heart. There must be more. The heart, where is it? Nightingale's heart. Where is it? Meanwhile, they played cards in the general store. The witch had stolen his heart. Get out of my house. Nightingale's heart is at the general store, in a fridge. What? What? Oh, God, bro. Oh, God, okay. Chat, oh, hold on. We'll do a quick... Oh, sorry, guys. Are you fine? Oh, you're just back there. Winter's being so cute. We'll do like a replug. Because the audio is being funny on my end. Chat, look at Winter. That's the cutest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. And you got to get a pet for that. 
That's like Ludwig do the same. Hi. She's very cute. I love her. Okay. Now. I need to check the general store for the heart. Don't forget to save Casey, off. I'm headed to the general store. I think I know how to get into the overlap. Uh, Roger that. I followed some ATV tracks in the woods and got a bit turned around. Did you get lost? I've only been lost once in my life, Anderson. The years I spent with my ex-wife. I'll find my way back. Don't you worry about it. <laughs> okay, dude. Oh, God. I just want to... I want to get to gameplay just for once. This stream, you know? I feel like it's about to happen. It's the general store. Oh boy, here we go. Especially if they placed a light there. Like, that's sus, right? Dear God. <gasps> oh, hell no. Uh-uh. Nope. Nope. Nah, dude. What's this? Oh, yeah, I already read that earlier. You literally won't let me go in this way? <clears throat> Did I ever tell you guys one of my favorite movies is Nope by Jordan Peele? Nope. Nope. That's really me this whole game right now. Oh. <gasps> Fuck. Oh, dude. I literally thought that somebody, like, breaks through a wall. Like, I remember in gameplay, like, someone breaks through a freaking wall. Please don't tell me it still does it. No, does it do a deer for- No. No. Please. Please no. Please no. Chat. Chat, I'm really scared. I'm really freaking scared, bro. Did they do a double? No. Oh, there it is. I freaking knew it. I freaking knew it. Oh, 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 oh. I knew it, dude. I freaking knew it. Oh. Yo. Broken door. Wait, do I shoot the spot? Whoa! Whoa! Dodged! Dodged! This is the moment. Dodged at the last minute to avoid enemy attack. Nightingale. My heal painters are quick to consume. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, you have to equip it and then press. Felt good. Use the healing item. Oh my god. Dude, that was crazy. That was genuinely crazy. They really did a deer and then another guy. They really did that. I knew I remembered something from a trailer of a guy breaking through a wall. 
Freaking knew it, dude. Dear God, chat. Saga at the general. Saga sword. edged toward the broken door. Her gun ready. Flashlight aimed ahead. Nightingale said it would be here. The Cauldron Lake General Store was overgrown, left to rot. Saga thought about the cult of the tree. They had been here, waiting, planning a gruesome ritual murder. Meanwhile, they played cards in the general store, like it was just another late night poker game. Saga stepped closer to the door. Had the animal broken it? There was a loud crash. Saga found herself face to face with a cultist. A hulking figure in a raincoat. We watch in the night. Wild eyes behind a plastic deer mask. An axe in his raised hand. My god. Oh, that's such an Alan Wake look right there. That's, that's wild. Anything in there? Nope. Alright, so I have three batteries. Oh, I see. I used like a one tier of it you the text on the heart is clearer now legible the, the wave crashed on the far side of the mirror you i hate that um words on the heart there you go Sounds literary, but what does it mean? I feel like I recognize this. The fridge, the heart. I knew it would be here, like I saw it in a dream. What are you talking about? And now I need to give the heart to the witch. Makes total sense. <gasps> what? What's this? More inventory space. The hell? Also, check with Lady Fortuna at the counter. There's a shotgun in here, chat. Check with Lady Fortuna at the counter. Is there a counter thing? Where would the counter be? Here? Oh, don't forget update code 705-713-7717. Oh. Lotto, Washington, 0513-1723-3945. What do you, what do you mean by that? Palm reading and crystal ball gazing, interpreter of dreams. 202-555-0137. Maybe. Maybe it's related to the, the palm reading thing. Or is this like a pattern? I don't understand. If you do it by a pattern, it's 705 to 713 is um, plus 8 plus 4. It doesn't add up. It doesn't. Wait, let me see. What is it? Is 705, 713. As an X for the numbers. Maybe. Well, let me see if there's anything else on the counter. Look at a safe with money in it. Is it is it literally because Like you go look at it and it's like seven, seven, three, 
seven three um that could it be like seven I feel like it has to do with the other things, right? Like, right? It's what's after 23. Yes. It'd be what's after, but how, like, why do they give you a lotto Washington thing? Because 05, 13, 17, 23, and 39. So maybe it is 39. They always switch it from the lotto. Hmm. But what was I the don't think this is relevant. That one's not relevant. I'm gonna try seven. Yeah, I'm gonna try the 39. I think that might be it. I, I guess the, the, the moon, not the moon gazing, the ball gazing thing might not be relevant. Maybe that's what she meant. Let me try it. Because you guys are saying that too. Um, okay, it did work, wow. Okay, so it was the lotto numbers. I don't know why I was trying to overthink that. Find the sawed off shotgun. Holy hell. In quick slot weapons in inventory. Bro, what the f Put that bad boy on left side. Oh. Put this bad boy on right side. Um that bad boy there I'm like really doing quick slot stuff right now oh, you guys can't really see it though it's like really all by my face cam it's hilarious oh my god I like my face cam on the right side on this game though it's, it's like my healing and everything it's very Resident Evil though chat like it's very Resident Evil like I literally just put sawed off on my left d-pad slot and stuff like that let's see if we got a case board thing we do where's the heart there it is found the heart in the fridge just like the page said i would bro this is wild anything else All right, now we got a sawed off. We don't have much ammo. We only have two shots. Ball gazing. <laughs> yeah, literally. Ball gazing. Casey, there are cultists in the area. They're taken, like Nightingale. Watch yourself out there. Yeah, thanks for the heads up. I'm still finding my way back. You have the worst sense of direction. <laughs> <laughs> Any city in America I can get through drunk and blindfolded. It's these damn trees. Okay, okay. I'm en route to Witch's Ladle. I need to perform a ritual to open the overlap. This case just keeps getting weirder. But it is exciting. She's very into this. I'm terrified. Are there going to be more enemies here? Gave me this. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god, here we go. Shoot, bro. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's go, baby. So once, yeah. Fucking monsters. Once we get rid of the 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 shadow around them with the flashlight, they're good. Just like Alan Wake One. Just like Alan Wake One. It's just way more realistic looking now. Just way more. Also, I wish I don't know what's going on in my audio chat, but does it sound okay to you guys? I need y'all tell me really fast before I do anything. If it sounds weird and I don't know why. Maybe I'm going crazy. 
Sounds fine, okay. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's ritual time. I put heart in literally that's she got her heart removed in the lore Thomas Zane took her heart out in Alan Wake 1 in the lore that's crazy the wave crashed on the far side of the mirror I brought you the heart witch show me the terror Oh my god, look at that. Look at the effects on the screen. Jesus Christ, that's sick. Whoa. The threshold. No going back, baby. Let's go. Dude, this is so much like dark and like Stranger Things and all that kind of stuff. God. I love it. I really love it. Bro. Mom. Logan? <gasps> Logan! Where right are right you? when I say Stranger Things, are you kidding? Will! What the fuck was that? Oh. Logan's back in Virginia. Hell no. You're imagining things. Oh, hell no. No, no. Wait, did I just... Did I just loop? Wait. Guys? Did it just teleport? Or am I going crazy? Like, did the door change? Like, did the tree door... Bro, what? Is she drowning like Rose said? I... Un unclear. I think... Why are you... Why are you doing this? What was that? This is crazy. I'm telling you guys, Quantum Break is connected to this freaking universe. Literally, there are files. There are files in... The, I just... I. There are files in Quantum Break that say that Martin Hatch, like Quantum Break's about them building a time machine, right? They build a time machine and the way they, that you time travel in Quantum Break is you walk through this corridor and you go around and you like, and it's like, you know, it's man-made of course by um, Paul. And uh, I think it's, is it, is it Will? I forgot his name, the brother. Um, anyways, you, you like, you have to walk all the way around and when you come out the other, the other end of this centrifuge, you've teleported to like the new time basically like you come out like you you rotate through it's really cool in the files of quantum break there's literally something that says that martin hatch 
found a natural man. Like he, he, there's something that says that Martin Hatch back a long, long time ago found a way to time travel from a natural cave. And that is how he eventually became a shifter or whatever. And I'm just sitting here like, the, I played Quantum Break a lot. And the way that you walk through and you like come out the other, other end, it's like got this really like circular motion to it. I just did that in this game. I literally just went through a natural formation, circled around. The other end was identical to the end I came in the same way and popped out the other side. It's like this, it feels the same. It feels the same, dude. And yeah, the sound going away and everything, it feels so similar. And not to mention, like, that the overlap, like, it, you could just say, instead of dimensions, you could say it's with time, you could do all that kind of thing. Like, I, I really do think they really wanted Quantum Break to be involved in these Wait. U this universe. Did I, get I don't know around? if it is anymore, but it feels so similar. No, this is right. This place is looping like a nightmare. Literally what I just say, chat. Literally what did I just freaking say? Like, I, I, are we going through a natural like time machine right now? Like what's going on? Sorry, I'm a, I'm a big Quantum Break fan if you can't tell. I love that game. Um, Need to find Nightingale. The writer went into the lake, banished the dark presence. <laughs> Taken still lurked in the woods. What? The dark place receded. The current pulled back those with darkness inside into the lake. Nightingale was there, one of them. The dark presence, Jagger had taken him. The witch had stolen his heart. They sank beneath the waves. The dark place, wandering in the shadows, muttering to themselves. It's dark, I'm lost. Where am I? Who am I? I can't remember. It's cold. Premium cabins for rent in Bright Falls. Who said that? Can you hear me? I need help. Please, stop this. What did I do? You must dig it out. Their shape shifted. Echoes of the writer's dreams. Fading in, fading out. The next story and the story after that, the writer was writing again. What? Sank beneath the waves, the dark place wandering in the shadows. Muttering to themselves, it's dark, I'm lost, where am I, who am I, I can't remember. You must dig it out. Oh my god, bro, what is going on? What is going on? What is happening? This is so, in like, I'm so intrigued. Like, am I in the dark place now? I assume I am. This universe they can't openly acknowledge that is quantum break. Yeah, I know, but it's it's so like I I just feel like all like at this point, this game feels like all the remedy games combined. It's so freaking cool. I'm just gonna guys, what? <gasps> Not the crows, dude. No, no, no. I hated the crows in the first game. <laughs> Brother, what is this? <gasps> Jesus Christ. Yo. Thank <laughs> you. 
He's here. Nightingale. Oh, hell no. Where are you? in over a bad signal he's like please help me save me from the dark place he really is will from stranger things when you really think about it he's been trapped here for so long bro oh. <laughs> what <laughs> what oh my god dude dude Nightingale's badge. Grab all this ammo. I mean, can't do anything with that? I guess not. Nightingale's badge was here. Dude, the music. My God. Sent to find the light switch. Is that the clicker from yeah the clicker from the first game but why do why do you need that why do you need that why would you need that it was kind of like the ultimate weapon that killed the dark presence in the last game so oh jesus why am i seeing like street signs hey yo what dude this game what on earth Lost, I see. Guys, this is so cool. This is so freaking cool. Oh, just like, almost like the collider. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dodge on the ground, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm running. I'm running. I'm running, bro. Bro, you can literally teleport. Okay. Okay. Oh shh. Okay, there's a weak spot, weak. Possible possible gameplay. I I'm picked up. Oh god, oh god. Okay, okay, run, run, Saga. Run, bro. Run, run, run. Okay, okay, just do a quick heal, quick heal. Quick heal. Why can't, wait, oh wait, you're weak now. I think you don't have the shadowy stuff. Jesus! Oh god, I literally got thrown around.
Guys, what? How did I die? Why was there like... I'm just spam a little bit more. There we go. There we go. Now what? Now what? No, no, no. No, no. What? Time to run, Saga. Oh my god, I just I was supposed to run last time? <sighs> Guys, what the f Please take damage. Please. Go, go. Grab, grab, grab. Shotgun. Why do I not have audio? Why is it muted like that? <laughs> Coffee, dermot. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I'm running this way, dude. See you in the next one, bro. <laughs> okay. There's gotta be, there's gotta be like a better area. Grab that. Oh, shit. Huge shotgun. Other. Oh. Uh oh. Oh God. Every time you get the like. Where the hell is he? What the hell? Guys. Guys, what? Am I going insane? No, there he is. Oh, Jesus. Please, please get away from me. Get away from me. Oh no. Dodge, dodge. <laughs> no, oh, he's immune. I'm stupid. I'm stupid, chat. Oh my God. I literally, I think I, I, think I have to shine light. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that really did nothing. Uh oh. There we go. Come on. I only have one more battery left. done he's done I did it the boy who are you what is this who are you hear me I'm Saga Anderson if 
FBI. I can hear you. Cauldron Lake. Yes. I'm at Cauldron Lake. Where are you? I'm not to escape. In danger. The dark presence. Danger. Thanks. Got it. Are you okay? <gasps> no! <gasps> it's my fault! They got out with my face! Scratch! Sir, calm down. I'm gonna need you to take a breath. He's... he's changed the story. The, the dark presence. We must stop it before... Easy now. Wait, he's out? I'm so confused. First things first. I'm so confused. What's your name? My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I, I've been... Wake? Where did you come from? You've been missing for 13 years. 13. Sounds like it being a god montage. It kind of does. It really does. Bro. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Blinding lights. I, I'm just like. I'm just sitting here going like, how, he said that, he said that, um, he literally said the word scratch, didn't he? Scratch is free and took over, they have to stop him. So, I'm so, here, here's what I'm shook by. I thought that the whole game would be saving Alan from the dark place. The end of chapter two, Alan appears from the dark place. And there's something else going on now. And Mr. Uh, Mr. Scratch is like, is like literally like an evil twin of Alan that's like manifested in the dark place basically. I'm so Oh my god, bro. Oh, uh, I I can't believe also that like Nightingale is the first like boss. That's so interesting that they did that. Like they're taking all these characters that you remember from the first game. And they're like, yeah, like, what if we made that the intro, you know? Oh, my God. All right, let's 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 just see how it starts, chat. And then we'll probably end stream because I feel like that's probably a good stopping point. But let's just see how it starts. Very curious. Uh, 
of what they say here. Anders, where did you go? Oh my God! All of a this sudden, is crazy. The radio stopped working, and then that flooding just disappeared. The crazy forest. Is this who I think it is? Casey, say hello to Alan Wake. Bro, Alan's about to lose his mind. Mr. Wake, this is Special Agent Alex Casey. You're, you're He'll escort you to our car. Your literal Casey, I'll creation. You there right after I take a look around. If the floodings receded, there might be evidence we missed earlier. What? Okay. See you there. Alex Casey? How? Am I still. Is this the dark place? No, it can't be. I got out. Yeah. The P.I. from your books has the same name as me. Great. Moving on. No, no, we shouldn't move on from that. We shouldn't move on. It's a bit of a hike to the car, Wake. Just get your bearings, then we'll head out. I just, I, I need another minute. Cauldron Lake. I thought I'd never see this place again. Take your time. But you should know these woods aren't the safest. Yeah. Uh getting dark you have a flashlight it's not safe without a light <laughs> I have a light <laughs> and a gun you can relax wake and pages if you see pages of writing anywhere you must take them and keep them safe our lives could depend on it they have vital information we know about the pages wake we'll keep an eye out for them okay Okay, just give me a moment. <laughs> it's okay. Take your time. It's like, dude, there's about to be like 30 enemies swarming us and I got to use a flare. <laughs> oh my God. It's so surreal seeing him come out of it. What the heck, man? I wish I, wish I could get more dialogue. I, 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 I'm shook. I don't know where this is going to go from here. Th this man literally is out of the dark place. As far as I know. So we weren't entering... Maybe I should call David. See how Logan's doing. They're fine, Anderson. What's got you so worried? I just feel bad being gone so long. I've never taken a case this far from them. Ah, they can manage without you for a few days. Hmm. Like the thing is interesting, it's like the overlap. So is it not necessarily an entrance, but it Should might look just, it might just be like a place where you With can. With the flooding pull, gone, could be further clues out there. Pull someone into it. The flooding disappeared very suddenly. I wonder if there's any connection to the overlap, to Nightingale. Yeah, bro. What? I gotta go to bed. I can't do this. Chat. I can't be doing this. I think I gotta stop here. It's three. It's three sixteen a.m. The the river's effed, or the lake is like effed over here. I don't even, I'm not even quite sure I understand what the difference between the overlap is and actually going into the lake itself, but I assume it's like a weaker point that you can interact with the dark place because the tree was never the threshold before. Like, people in... The way Alan got trapped in the dark place is because he jumped into the lake. Like, you go into the lake. Like, you jump in the center of the lake, and you go down, and there's, like, a portal or something. Right? Like, that's sort of the way I've always interpreted it. So, the tree being something different is very odd. And it reminded me of some stuff from... From... Um, Quantum Break, to be honest. I really wanted to... Uh, was it? What was? I want to see if I can find the um, the original note that was absolutely amazing. Um. Let's see. Okay, this is the note chat. I wanna I wanna like think about this for a sec. This was a note in Quantum Break, right? 
I'll read just the start of it because I don't want to like spoil. It's only one like the best. It's like the best note in the whole game. And it says, I have left this message here for you to find so that soon when the time comes and I ask you to choose, you can do so with your eyes open with some hint of understanding. I have no secrets, and the only things I choose to omit are the ones that you and your current limited state would not be able to grasp no matter how hard I try to make you understand. I have walked down the same path you are now on, once from your perspective a long time ago. Although time no longer has such meaning to me, I too came in contact with a time machine. In my case, it was not a man-made device, but a natural one, a cave. It should come as no surprise, really, that such things exist, much like natural nuclear reactors do exist, such as uh, the now defunct ones at Oklo Africa. After all, the Meyer Joyce field has its irregularities. I too became chronon active. I too developed the syndrome. And in time, I too lost control and became a shifter. Be became at once everything and nothing, was everywhere and nowhere, died countless deaths, and was still alive. My every probability, every possibility happening at once. There's a lot more to the to the note, but yeah, but and then the note at the end, right? The note at the end says, "It'd be futile. It'd be futile to try to explain it to you like like trying to explain three dimensions to someone who can only see one." But make no mistake, I do not look down on you. I strive for, for humility. Even as I shift this world from one state to another, I will make this possible. I stand in between. I don't see myself as a gate. I remain humble. I'm something smaller, a hatch. Mr. Door, right? It doesn't say Mr. Door, but it's the, very similar. Um, and so, like... It's just some cool stuff, man. There's some cool like ties to that that I can already see from this game where I'm like, man, I just walked through like a, a like a man-made tree or not man-made, sorry, a natural tree, a ladle thing, the witch's ladle, and it kind of did this like weird looping overlap thing that was very similar to like some of the time travel stuff in Quantum Break. And I'm like, damn, I can't, I just cannot wait to meet Mr. Door. Like, I think when we meet Mr. Door in this game, I'm going to start losing my mind. Like, I'm going to be like this. I'm going to be like, what are they doing? What are they cooking? What are they cooking? So, Alan Wake's double, Mr. Scratch, who's basically like an evil version of him, is, is for some, uh, out and about. Alan is now escaped but there is no, it's not exactly clear what we do. Saga has powers and definitely has intrigue in this stuff. Also, her whole kid thing is really weird because we've had weird comments about her kid. Alex Casey is literally the creation of Alan standing right before him and he's losing his mind about it. Like, what? I, yeah, I want to know. I... I want to see Mr. Door, like, because in all the marketing, we saw Mr. Door, like, interviewing Alan, right? That's like, I, I, we've only seen that bit, like, a little bit from that. And I just can't wait for that moment, Kat. Like, I'm just, like, thinking about, it, like, that, it's going to be crazy. I'm going to be shook the whole time. I'm just be like, what, what are we doing? Like, what, what is going on? This was, oh, Yeah. Bro's been missing for 13 years. This is how they welcome him back. Yeah, literally. Literally, it's just like, there's like, yo, just get back in the car, man. <laughs> just, get, just get back in the car. Investigate the previously flooded area. Take the car back to Bright Falls. So, yeah. God. God. If they make a control too, it'll be crazy. They already said they are, Tom. Control 2 is already on the way. So, that's what's, that's what's insane. Like, I am so stoked for Remedy Games. Like, they put, like, a concept art image of Control 2 somewhere. I forgot where, but it... 
I think it takes place outside the bureau, like in the city. I'm not sure though. It looked like it was outside. But yeah, chat it is amazing uh, so far. Um, I, I, the only thing is I just wish that I wasn't such a nerd and read every little thing because I do wish that I got into more of the gameplay sooner into the stream because it is like three o'clock at night and I just got into combat for like the first time. Um, so I'm sorry about that, but I wanted, I wanted to get to it and get to like a stopping point that felt really good of like experiencing a good chunk of the game. So yeah, we're like, I don't know, four, four hours or so in feels pretty dang good to me. Um, I'm probably literally just going to uh, probably just put my, uh, PlayStation in sleep mode or whatever. And, uh, yeah, I feel like this is a great stopping point. I don't even have much else to say. I, I just really like it so far. Um, I, I'm seeing a lot of the elements of all the Remedy games that I like. And I am very intrigued on where it's going to go. I don't know what they're going to do with this story. Especially now. I thought the whole point was to take him out. But now I guess it's more about stopping a villain. Weird. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that yet. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah. Chat. I don't know what else there is to say. I really appreciate you guys coming to the stream tonight, though. We had like over 100 people the entire time, even this late into the night. 150 people for most of the stream. Um, super, super fun. I will definitely be playing more of this, hopefully this weekend. Um, that being said, my mom is coming into town this weekend, so I definitely need to spend time with my family during the days. Uh, but hopefully I can, I can, when they go to bed at night, I can just load up out and wake and do some streams for you guys, even if it's late. Um, because at the end of the day, the VODs will always be there too, even if I stream at a later time. But yeah, just keep an eye on the notification. It'll probably be like, if, if I go live tomorrow, it'll be like tomorrow night. Um, same thing with the next day. Uh, probably around the same time. If not, um, it's because I got busy uh, hanging out with my family, basically. It's going to be hard. I'm gonna, there's going to be some nights where I'm going to be like, can I play Alan Wake even though you're visiting for the first time in a while? <laughs> and I'll be like, no, you should not be playing a video game when we're here to visit. <laughs> we'll see. Um, I'll, I'll see if I can make it work. Um, guys, have a wonderful rest of your night. I am so tired if you can't tell. I probably look dead. Um, very low energy now, but this has been amazing. I've been jump scared a lot as well. Thank you for all the follows, guys, as well. Like Kevin. Uh, reclusive, what I'm feeling deep inside, Lucy, Welly, thank you all so much, uh, Romero, Vampire, um, W1Y, Pix, Mad Max, uh, Traheran Tosha, hopefully I said that right, uh, Demas, uh, Sleepless, Spicy, Stage, like, oh my gosh, so many people, Crystal, Draken, a lot of people coming in. Um, I will see you soon. Hopefully you enjoyed me nerding out about some of the other Remedy games I love while I'm playing it. And um, the next stream will we'll continue on. We'll, do, we'll definitely do some more. Um, hopefully we get through more of it. And I want to play as Alan, dude. I really want to play like Alan gameplay. Now I'm curious if I can just swap to him now. I don't know. Good night. Farewell. Get sleep, everybody. Have a good day at work or school or whatever you got going on tomorrow. Uh, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Good night, chat. Thanks for all the help and mods. Thanks for helping out as well with like spoilers and stuff. Thanks for keeping it clean. Good night, guys. Bye, 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 bye. Bye, bye. Bye. Where's the cat? I don't know where she is. Bye, bye, chat. <laughs> bye, bye.